This might be a little bit loud. I apologize. <laughs> Because Nick told me to. Yeah. Oh, hey! Clucking the childs. Okay, you can hear me now, but it's bad. You can hear me now, but it's bad. I want you to know that this was all working one minute ago. I tested this less than one minute ago, 30 seconds before I hit stream. I tested the mic, I tested both my cameras, I tested all three cameras, everything was working fine. But it sounds bad, right? It sounds bad. Dangle clacks, Wendy. This is what we do here. This is what we do here. Mother fuck. Mother fuck. Mother fuck. You sit here all day long and I'm prepping the stream and I'm testing the mic all day long. Make sure this microphone works. Gotta make sure this microphone works. Looks like it's working. Looks like it's working. Okay, great. Is it gonna work? Nah, fucking, of course it's not. Why would it? It turns off as soon as you hit fucking stream. So we're gonna change the change the game a little bit. This is my last ditch effort. Hello. Ah! 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 Please tell me this is working. <laughs> you feeling this, Gaddafi? It was almost hat mic, dude. It was almost hat mic. I think it's okay. I genuinely think it's okay now. It seems like it's working, country boy. I think I feel like it's working now. Okay, okay. Uh, if there's one thing that I think is going to destroy humanity, it is technology. Technology is going to destroy humanity. I'm just putting that out there literally right now. Literally right now. So, so, this should sound okay. This should sound okay. Pretty, pretty. Okay. Okay. Let's just start this over again. Hopefully... That is the only dangle clack of the evening, but welcome everybody. Let's start this. Russell, thank you. Howard, Mr. Smoors, thank you. Neek, thank you. Boom, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. You missed the dangle clack if you're just tuning in right now, cool tech dreamer. But uh, welcome to dangle clacks. This is the dangle clack stream. We've got a full on action packed dangle clack stream planned out tonight. I don't have any timestamps on the screen. That's a relic of the past because we're live now. But Jeremy V, he's my main man. He collects all those timestamps. They're going to be the first pinned comment right underneath this video. We're not going long tonight. We're not. I can't. <laughs> the four hour live stream last week was like really a, really a, a long one. I don't know. It just, it didn't feel long. But it just was like objectively long. Four hours is, I'm sorry, that's too long to stream. So if we start getting up to the four hour mark, you guys have to yell at me. We're not running, <laughs> we're not running four hours long. But listen, here's what's coming up tonight, you guys. Uh, I loved last week's news chunks. So we're doing some news chunks again. 
Uh, we got some beer. We're going to do some what I've been vaping a little bit. I don't have any Assignment Americas this week, but instead I've got some comments of the week, including I'm going to try to respond to the biggest, longest comment I have ever received literally anywhere ever, ever in the world. And it was on YouTube and it's like three full paragraphs. I haven't read any of it, but we're going to, we're going to reply to it. Uh, we're going to reply to it tonight with some comments of the week. We're going to have some, uh, Australia news. There's going to be some U S news thrown in there. We got a retro vaping. We got some Kent AI art tonight for us to enjoy. Uh, we're going to have a UK news chunk as well. I've got a mess of mail. We're going to do a very random liquid tasting. We're going to sing happy birthday. So if anybody has a happy birthday, today is the day. Shout it out in the chat. And if I see it, then we'll get to sing you happy birthday. I only have one name right now from the Patreon for uh, Yo Yo. Happy birthday. What's up, Jake Scrapwood? I see you guys there. Thanks for uh, thanks for showing up here on, a, on the Thursday vlog. I apologize for those dangle clacks at the beginning, but yeah, I stand firm that I think technology is going to destroy humanity. I think it just is. If, if itself, if it itself doesn't destroy humanity, we are going to destroy ourselves over technology. You know, either way, technology is going to play a big, a big part in the downfall of humanity. Let's just, uh, let's just be real. Hang on. Let me put this away real quick since I don't need it. Ah, oh, but welcome. We're here. We're doing it. God, what a great day. Best day of the week. Here we are, Carl. You can't, I'm so glad you made a, a live stream, Carl. Hashtag replay crew. Look, big love to the UK. I find what the politicians and the UK government are doing right now disgusting. I am disgusted by what's going on in the UK. Disgusted. And also kind of amazed about what's happening in the US out of control. Don't worry. We'll cross all these bridges. We'll cross all those bridges when we get there. But the first thing I want to do, besides saying hello, besides destroying dangle clacks, all that stress. Yeah. 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 Oh, this is the brew that we're going to be tasting tonight. What's up, Butter Squad? I see you guys there. I didn't shout anybody out in the chat, but you guys can't hide from me. Styles, I see you there. Graph on Gaming, I see you. Butter Squad, Brenda, Janine, Russell, Eileen, Billy Rice is here. Freaking J Blaze. Appreciate you guys. I, lo I love seeing your faces in the chat. I finally did it. You know, I finally went for the banana beer. Kevin K, oi. Finally went for the banana beer. I pass this by every time I go beer shopping because it just seems way so gimmicky to me. Seems so crazy gimmicky to me, but we're finally having it. I'm a banana fan, as uh, I think I've made pretty clear. I'm a, I'm a pretty big banana fan. This is from uh, Eagle Brewing. Doesn't have a lot of really great reviews, but it does have some just review reviews. They say long ago, Ale was known as liquid bread. Is that true? Does anybody really know if that's true? If we called beer liquid bread? I don't have any like uh, sommeliers or my beer authorities in the chat. Where's Poon Sauce? <laughs> was it really called liquid bread? Well, as they say, we've used our long history of creating the finest malt blends and added fair trade bananas to awaken the senses with a seriously fruity, rich, yet surprisingly versatile banana bread beer. Inspired, uh, uh, an inspired brew made with our own natural mineral water and fair trade bananas. Tempting Banoffre aromas and flavors are balanced by the silky richness of masterful malt blends and the peppery spice of the freshest, ripest hops. It, like, if that didn't sell you, then I don't know what will sell you. That sold me on this beer. I already like it and I haven't even tasted it. They really did call it liquid bread. Hungry Hippo still calls it liquid bread. Really? There's a sandwich in every beer. I like this. Liquid bread. I'm on board. I didn't, that sounded made up to me. <laughs> that sounded a little bit made up to me at first, 
But there's fact checkers in the chat. Yeah, calling it severed. Used to call it that liquid bread. All right, well, we're going to pour some liquid bread, banana bread into a pint glass. It's a, just a Guinness pint glass. This is a, a gift that my brother had purchased for me many, 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 many years ago when we were living together. I think I was in my 20s still. Maybe I was in my 30s. He bought this for me and it was a, a Christmas gift, you know, uh, and I'm, I'm very sentimental about it. And so I'm going to keep this glass literally forever didn't pour as dark as I thought it did. And then there's no, like literally no haze to it. No haze. Tribal Buddha's got Voodoo Ranger Fruit Force on tap. Damn, that sounds good. That sounds good. Untapped, we got a three and a half average out of five on untapped for the banana bread beer. All right. Well, I hope you got something delicious. It doesn't have to be beer, but cheers to ya. Let's kick off this vlog with some banana beer. Doesn't smell much like bananas right now. Yeah, it's uh oh, that's actually uh wow, that's actually really nice. That's actually a really nice little brew right there. It's real light. There's no real lingering finish. It's got a real nice, easy mouthfeel. The banana flavor is a very, very. <laughs> I was gonna do it very natural banana. It, it's not like um, banana cream beauty or boule bolu or like a candied banana or anything like that. It's like banana peels. Like the way a banana smells is the way that this tastes. It's not like an overt banana. It does kind of taste, it does kind of taste like banana bread. <clears throat> Cheers. You made it new wave, Dave. You got a banana beer with you or not? That's good. I mean, this is good. It's crispy. There's a little bit of upfront sweetness. It, it's still nice and malty. It's still nice and hoppy. It gives me literally zero like mouthwatery, jowly sort of acidy IPA hops. That's a, that's a really nice change of pace after drinking just IPAs, IPAs, IPAs on top of IPAs. Not having that jowly feeling. Feels good, man. Feels real good. Would you believe it? I don't have any. I got banana nothing to pair with this. I got no banana nothing to pair with this. I might. I was eyeballing this. Country clouds. The cornbread pudding. Cornbread pudding might pair with this pretty okay. Uh, I should have planned this better and had like an actual banana e-liquid ready to go. But, eh, you know, you, you know what channel you're watching right now. That's pretty delightful right there. A little cornbread pudding, a little banana beer. That's pretty good. That's not bad, actually. <clears throat> That's a pretty solid pairing. I immediately regret not having anything. Yeah, it's not like, <laughs> oh yeah, it's not like Laffy Taffy. Not even, not even a little bit. What's up, Mike? I see you keeping it real on Twitch. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. The cornbread pudding, that like vanilla cornbread pudding with like the maple leaf flavor and this banana, it tastes like it's almost could be its own thing. Like if they threw, if they made a banana cornbread pudding, country clouds, banana cornbread pudding, please make it happen so we can pair it with this liquid bread, this liquid banana bread. That's delightful. Straight up. Straight up, no joke. No joke. That's delightful. All right, well, let's drink a beer. We got a beer sort of coursing through our system now. Spectacular. We're off to the races. Bombies. You miss Bombies Banana Gunny? Bombies was like the most popular e liquid for like six solid months to like a year. It's all anyone talked about was Bombies, 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 Bombies everywhere. Bombies on Reddit, Bombies on Facebook. Everybody wanted Bombies. Everybody wanted Bombies. 
Well, Eve, if you're only here for the vape mail, we're gonna the the vape mail sort of happening down in this area, and we're right here at the beer. So, hang out for a bit if you'd like to. I would appreciate it. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> you should be excited about the vape mail, Eve. There's there's some cool stuff in the vape mail this week for sure. There's a cas box. It doesn't get much better than a cas box. What? Georgia boy? Hey, Georgia boy. Love you, bro. He says there's a banana bread country clouds. Is there a... I'd like to try this banana bread. I'd like to try this country clouds banana bread. I think I would like to try that and pour it in my mouth. I mean, no, it's an e-liquid, so I would vape it. Have not tried the Sonder Q. I apologize. Have not tried the Sonder Q. Have not tried the Sonder Q. I, I I I really genuinely try to get every pod that exists, and I'm a, and I try to get it. Um, some things just pass by me. They come out, you know, they get released and then unsupported like so quickly that I don't even get a chance to review them or anything. Uh, beer, okay, real quickly, I'm gonna I'm gonna feed the dogs real quick. Actually, I'm gonna feed the dogs while you talk to Kitchen Guy because. Let's do it. It's time to get into what I've been vaping. We'll come back. We'll do some super chats, some comments of the week. We're off to a good start. Let me go feed the dogs. What's up, Susie lady? Hello to London. Hello to all of the UK. If anybody in the UK is watching, I'm sorry for what's happening in your country. It actually makes me disgusted in like a visceral, disgusting, disgusted way. Okay, I'll be right back. Let's check in with Kitchen Guy. <laughs> Thank you, Office Guy. And I didn't think I'd be saying this anytime soon, but I'm going to throw it to Living Room Couch. Nope, that's the wrong one. Hang on. Okay, I'm sorry. I am that. that there's just some dangle clacks. There's just a little bit of dangle clacks. I do have to feed the dogs. I'll be, I'll be right back. I promise. This is actually the what I've been vaping. Not last week's what I've been vaping. Actually, this week's what I've been vaping. You know, dangle clacks. They just come out of nowhere and kick you in the nuts. All right. What I've been vaping. So look, let's be honest, truth be told, there hasn't been a whole lot of vaping out here only because we had some house guests in town, we had some family in town, so I wasn't exactly making it my routine to sit out here in the kitchen, you know, at the end of the kitchen table with my hashtag shed time station and, and just vape my face off. There's a little bit, there's a few tiny little view vapes out here. The first thing, it's just this pod I've been obsessed with. It's the RE1 from Da One, and it's got, you know, it's a pod, and I can release it, boom, from this little PCC, and I got a little 800 Ma pod, tight, airflow, flavorful, crispy, hands-free, compact. I've been having a really good time with this thing. This is the third, like, battery pod combo that I've set up, and they've all been great, except for this most recent one is kind of doing that Inakin thing where it feels like it's constantly, constantly going dry. It never goes dry. I keep filling it up. It just feels like it's slightly going dry. I hate that sensation. The other pods, thankfully, haven't done that, just this one, so, you know more science is needed. I've been trying to vape through this so that I could actually utilize the tall boy, but I haven't been able to vape any of this liquid in any meaningful way. I have a 0.8 Vapors Cloud VC Tech coil inside of the tall boy, inside of the Stubby 21. The capacity of this tall boy is kind of just incredible. And in a little, you know, low wattage, mouth to lung, I'm not exactly tearing through liquid here. So I literally feel like I have enough liquid in this tall boy to last me like the rest of the month. Obviously not the rest of the month, but you know what I mean. 
that 0.8 Vapors Cloud coil head at 20 watts is crispy. There's even like a little bit of crackle happening. The flavor is really nice. Anyway, like I said, more science is needed. This is just a simple setup. This is the Aglios, uh, you know, it's the UL Vupu style magnetic coil head based sub tank kind of topper. I, I'm only vaping it because, pardon me, UL sent me like, I don't know, 400 of these things. They sent me enough of these things that it felt like I should be opening like a retail store. So I've been slowly, slowly giving them away and using them for some random liquid tastings as well as like tasting some hashtag super top secret e-liquids that are gonna be released this year. It's on top of the Boxer 21 Classic with the DNA 100C. This setup isn't necessarily anything special. I've just found it to be really super reliable. Like this Boxer Classic is something that I go to constantly, 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 Boxer Classic, Boxer Classic. And these Aglios coil heads aren't anything like amazing, but they're UL coil heads, so they vape really well. And then lastly, I guess if I had to pick like, okay, that liquid is good. Now, lastly, if I had to pick like my favorite vape of the week, just something that I just love, hashtag favorite vape of the week, it's, it's going to be this. It's an old Asmodus Stabwood guy. Beecher set this up on the vlog that he was in. It's the flux tank with some very vintage Ponyon acid on the inside. Ponyon acid, of course, one of my legacy liquids, one of my favorite liquids of all time. It tastes exactly as I remember it. This is a throwbacky setup. All of these components are like pre-2017. It's just a good RTA. It's got a little bit of like a rough airflow, which I'm, I, I'm kind of into in 2024 when everything is like, it, we're obsessed with smooth airflow. Everything has to be the smoothest airflow. And I think we've gone too smooth. I need a little bit of grit and throw some dirt on it. It's just so freaking delightful. And that's it. Four things out here. Those are the things that I've, you know, really been cranking on, really been vaping on. I'm going to throw it back to Desk Guy because, yep, of course there's Desk Warriors. Of course. Take it away, other Desk Guy, go. Oh, hey, other Kitchen Guy, go. Jay Blaze, it's your birthday? Birthday? All right. You and your daughter? Birthday? Sick. It's been recorded. It's been recorded. We're going to sing happy birthday. Yo, yo, to you, Cherokee. I see you. What's up, Zeppo? Hope you got a beer. Hope you got a beer, Zeppo. This banana's just so weird. So weird. Okay. Desk Warriors. Yeah, there's a bunch of Desk Warriors. If we're going to talk about pods real quick, there's been two pods battling for like pod supremacy on my desk. I kind of just reviewed both of them. It's an Oxva Slim SQ Pro CRC version, and it's been awesome. I mean, it's just a damn hell ass good pod. Ba also battling for pod supremacy of the desk. It's the Nevox Feelin' Axe. It's the Nevox Feelin' Axe. Between the Nevox Feelin' A1 and the Nevox Feelin' Axe, I've put thousands, thousands and thousands and thousands of puffs on these Nevox coil heads, and they're kind of proving themselves to me slowly over time, just like the cross pods had to, just like the Cali Burn pods had to prove themselves to me over time. The Nevox pods are, are kind of proving themselves to me. Time literally tells me everything I need to know about pods. And when you put thousands and thousands and thousands of puffs on a pod, you really, I don't know, you get to know it. Nevox Feelin' Axe slaps, just slaps. There's no way around it. So crispy, so flavorful. Mmm, mm-mm. Earn, drip theory, hell yeah. bad at writing in the air the feeling ax uh slaps there's also been listen if i'm gonna be real honest this is my fourth pure max battery this is the only surviving pure max battery i have three very dead pure max batteries sitting over here on the side they got leaked in they got liquid in the battery 
Two of them are dead, dead, for sure dead, hard dead, and one of them is limping along but acts funny and fires when I don't necessarily want it to fire. Like, if I just flick liquid out, fires a little bit, and that bothers me. So the Pure Max has been a little bit of a, you know, when it's good, it's amazing. Like, it's flawless when it's good, but when it leaks, it leaks, and it's, it's bad. This newest one, has been remaining cross your fingers leak free for a while leak free for a while yeah oh we'll we'll get there earn yeah we'll get there we'll get there leak free for a while so i'm thankful for that uh this is a device i can't show you but the rda on top yeah that's the danny the three i got the danny the three with some uh mango and co from uh you know fluid which just is suddenly like the most popular e-liquid brand on you know in the grim green world is fluid Mango and Co. Coconut Mango. Get out of here. It's just good. 120 watts. Let's go. Uh, super enjoying that. I set up the P22 yesterday, and I don't know. I really like this RDA uh, on top of the Empire. I like the camo battery inside of the green Empire. This has been more whistly than it has ever been. It's more whistly than it has ever been. And I don't know why. I put a new build in it. It's just, not whistly like severe whistlingness. A little bit of whistly. Like on the end, when I release my draw, it kind of goes. Ooh, ooh. The flavor is so undeniably good though. Strawberry swirls on the inside. That's been it. This has been like my favorite thing, like one of my favorite things, this Limelight Wicket, which is great. It's a great little AIO that I need to clean because it's white Delrin. But on the inside, I just posted this on Instagram. It's the Keo. It's the Keo Boro RBA. Don't even joke about it. Flavor for days, smooth ass airflow for days. And my favorite part about this really, really extraordinarily smooth airflow is it doesn't use mesh in any way to smooth out the airflow. That's my favorite. It's smooth without mesh. Amazing. The flavor is just so good on that. Um, I also have a K-Fun that needs to be re-wicked and I have the Steam Shell, which I've been trying like crazy here let me show you actually how much liquid i've gone through because it's literally zero i've got uh, the steam shell inside of the tall boy and the tall boy whoops other way the tall boy hasn't even gotten halfway done with the top tank yet and i've been just vaping this and vaping this and vaping this and vaping this and vaping this what's up shadow demon i see you there on twitch vaping this i haven't even got through the top tank yet much less got through enough to pull the drawer and fill it up. So in the event that that happens, then the tall boy can actually get a review. Also, do you like the world's smallest drip, mouth to lung drip tip? Why? Why? Why, Grim Green? Why? Too tiny. It's just for looks. I just like the way it looks, not the way it functions, which is rare. I rarely choose, you know, form over function, but... Acetone, acetone will get that tip top. Someone else was telling me um, for the white Delrin on this that I should use a, a, a magic eraser will help, say, will help clean it up, but you say acetone will help clean it up. All right. I have some acetone from, from a painting adventures. All right, I'm gonna try to give it a whirl. I'm gonna try to clean it up. It's just a good AIO that, you know, it's, it, it just sat for like two or three months and started collecting dust and started turning, you know, I don't know, not as like beautiful and white pristine as it used to be. There's like, can I show you this? There's like brown, there's like blackened marks. And then I kind of get this like yellowy look through the seam right there. It used to be just glorious, beautifully white as the Arctic snow white. And now it's getting getting tarnished you see still love it 
I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot for cleaning. That's kind of it. I have other stuff set up on my desk, but like that sub tanks for review, other things need to get taken down. Some things like this I love, but just it doesn't, it hasn't been getting much use lately. Why? Why has this not been getting much use lately? It's awesome. Ben D, let's do some rebuilding. Let's do some rebuilding, bro. But that's really it. I, I'm in the middle of, I, I, I'm cleaning out a bunch of stuff. It's goofy. The level of vape stuff that's not even on my desk. Like, hang on. I have two tubs like this, just full of vape stuff, just full of cleaned out vape gear. Two, two tubs like this, tons of stuff. And then this still needs to be cleaned. This is like waiting to be cleaned. This, look at this, that's insane. Why, why? It's so much stuff. And this is just waiting to be cleaned, just waiting to be cleaned. I have a vape shop's worth of gear just waiting to be cleaned or has just been cleaned and needs to be like reassembled and put away. It's out of hand, it's out of hand. And all, I look at all the stuff on my desk and I'm like, you need to be cleaned too. Some of you guys need to be cleaned. Some of you guys need to be taken down. I love you, but I just don't like this. This is a perfect example of something I love. The Moo Mods Karasu with the Typhon GT4S, Lemons Hope on the inside. This is, by all metrics, an amazing vape. Unbelievable vape, but I haven't vaped it once this week. Still great, still delicious. I do, I rinse them. They get rinsed and soaked and, and now Sonic cleaned before they get dried and put away. Sounds like a contest. How many, I don't know if anybody could guess. It's, it's embarrassing. Like, it's an embarrassing level. It's an embarrassing level of stuff that needs to be cleaned and put away. Embarrassing. But that's it. That's really, truly, and honestly what I've been vaping. I've been spending a lot of time with that Aglios just because of the liquid on the inside. I've been spending a lot of time with that uh, Axe 3 or the Axe, the Nevox AX. That's what I've been vaping. Now, normally we do what you've been vaping here, but we're gonna do some comments of the week, but we're gonna do super chats actually. Is it discombobulated enough of a, of a live stream here? Everybody cross your fingers. YouTube is giving me dozens of warnings, dozens of warnings telling me about my stream health. This is what happens when I try to stream to Twitch and YouTube at the same time is Twitch needs a lower bit rate and YouTube needs a higher bit rate. So I try to go somewhere in the middle and YouTube tells me that it's, that it's too low constantly. So I apologize if anything is, gets wonky or jittery or anything like that. Uh, it shouldn't, it shouldn't. Oh, all the super chats are gone. Okay, let's go over here. Let's check out these super chats right here. My software saves them. First things first, Chef Seamus, the, the, the chef, Seamus. Yo, yo, everyone, it's Thursday, it's vlog day, and I just got a promotion. So this is turning into be, this is turning out to be one hell of an MTVD. Hashtag shirts off in the pit, hashtag boosh goo. Uh, yeah, or goosh boo rather. Congratulations, Chef Seamus. Are you like super chef? Now, premier, the premier chef, stoked, stoked for you, bro. Mike Sullivan, that's very gracious of you. Uh, my mom's birthday is Monday. Can you sing her happy birthday? And she will skip around the room. Her name is Charlotte. Yes, absolutely. But I have to preface it by saying Mike's mom. Is that okay? And I don't mean that in like a Mike's mom kind of way, but like a Mike's mom so we know who Charlotte is and I didn't spell her name correctly in any capacity. Absolutely, Mike, absolutely. Easily done. Kaz, Kaz. Oh, Kaz, uh, I'm so excited for the stream. Just order snacks to lock every Grim Stream stream. You look more and more beautiful. I love you and everyone, the cool kids. Oh, thank you, Kaz. Should I button that top button, really get my drip on? There we go, Kaz, there we go. 
try to look away now. Vape and noob, appreciate you. I've seen you all over my comments, the vape and noob. The vape and noob uh, offering the uh, the super chat of the beast and a bunch of radioactive symbols. That's like his thing, I think. He's all about radioactive symbols. He leaves them all over everywhere. I see you, vape and noob. I see you. Kaz Kaz, again, I love everyone. Kaz Kaz, me too. You know, it's just how it is. It's, life's too short not to love everybody. Josh, that's very gracious of you. Yo, yo, cool kids. Work trip equals watching live vlog. <laughs> Hell yeah, Josh. Happy to have you here tonight, bro. Enjoy your work trip. I know it's a work trip, but still, work trips can be fun. Work trips can be good times. Frank, that's very gracious of you. Yo, yo, Nick, just saying hello, bud. I know you saw me give you a fist bump before the vlog started. I did. Here, there's two right back at you. <laughs> Appreciate you, Frank. Uh, Barbara Burgess, my cousin, everybody. Uh, she says, is there a tornado watch on? Technically, yes. But so what? I've got my cousin's vlog to watch and my BFF Sarah hanging out with me. What's up, BFF Sarah? If you get like some sort of serious tornado alarm, Barbara, please seek shelter. <laughs> That's my own. Please, please seek shelter. The vlog will be here when the tornadoes have passed, too. Allie, appreciate you. Former pro brewer here. Yep, it's been called that over the ages. Liquid bread. Liquid bread. I mean, that makes sense. That banana flavor is good. It's really subtle, but it's good. All right. Well, I have no reason to, to not believe you there. Pro former pro brewer over there. David, that's very gracious of you. Hey man, I just wanted to chime in. I've been watching you since early 2016. I'm usually replay crew first live in a while. Hell yeah, David. Stoked, bro. Stoked to see you here. Appreciate you. And thank you for being hashtag replay crew like since 2016. That's baller. I love that. Thank you. I'm glad you got to glad you got to be here live. Ramp X. Uh, hey, Grim, love you. Hey, Ramp X. Hey, love you. Appreciate you, pimp. You've been playing Zelda? I know you have. Janine, that is a very gracious of you. Hey, Nick, I just wanted to say hey, and please wish us luck tomorrow. Health Canada Zoom to save flavors again. Yes, that's happening tomorrow. Wow, I didn't realize that was creeping up so quickly, but yeah, Health Canada is doing a public Zoom meeting consultation in an effort to... I don't know, have a discourse about vaping, maybe prevent a, a flavor ban in Canada. We just, we, I say we like I had anything to do with it, but they just prevented a flavor ban in Colorado. Yep, good stuff. Face meat, dry oatmeal, and a dry oatmeal to you, face meat. The meat of the face. What a legend. What a freaking legend. Uh, so yeah, beer, what about, Let's do comments of the week. Let me do an Australian news chunk real quick. Let me just throw out an Australian news chunk real quick. We're about a half hour into the stream. And... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't correct this problem. There we go. All right. Let me just mention Australia real quick. Australia is uh, out of control with their uh, prescription model. It's by any metric is becoming a com com complete failure. I mean, I don't know how to say it any gen more gentle than that, but it's really like, it is a astronomical failure by literally any metric is an astronomical failure. Astronomical failure. I'm gonna go real quickly to uh, Theo on Twitter here. Theo is, according to his Twitter, the chief executive officer at the Australian Association of Convenience Stores. These are directly impacted by Mark Butler's really, really peculiar vape legislation, the prescription model. Super peculiar, but it says, a new AACS commissioned research by Redbridge Group is the most comprehensive survey report into Australian voter attitudes towards regulated nicotine vaping products. The result from the survey revealed a damning assessment of the uh, Albanese government policy approach to regulate vaping products effectively. Key findings. So this was a this was a poll. This was research done 
in Australia getting Australians thoughts on the current vape regulation. Over eight in 10 voters agree that vapes should be sold the same way as alcohol and tobacco. Yep. Seems like that would have been the super easiest way to go instead of a prescription only model that really bolsters the black market. But Maybe Australia will get there. Only 2% of voters believe governments are doing a very good job managing the regulation of vapes. 2%? 2% of voters believe that Australia is doing a very good job in managing the regulation of vapes. You talk to Australian tobacco controllers, though, they think they're doing the best job ever in the whole world. In the whole world. They just ignore countries like Sweden that have lower smoking rates than them. They go, nope, we're, we're definitely doing this right, 100%. Three quarters of voters would consider voting for a political party that has a policy to regulate vape sales in the same way as alcohol and tobacco. Well, would you look at that? Yeah, Michael Redfern, nail on the head. It's the relapse model. Sorry, you can't see it very well. It's the relapse model. 100% the relapse model. This is, I mean, I'm disgusted by what's going on in the UK and I've been disgusted by what's going on in Australia, but man, the amount of people who currently do not smoke cigarettes that are going to start smoking cigarettes because of Australians relapse model, it, it's going to be high. It's going to be big. More than half of all voters believe the government should change its policy and regulate vapes in the same way as alcohol and tobacco compared to just 25% who support maintaining the current laws. Got to maintain that status quo. How did vaping not just by default get regulated like tobacco cigarettes? That's an interesting question that we should be asking Australia. Why? Why was it never a consumer product? Why was it only prescription? That's, that's bizarre. I mean, the only way that I can think of that, what's up, Mark Connor? I see you there. The only way I can, the only way I can like disseminate this in my head is cigarettes are a consumer product, meaning you can go into any tobacconist or any convenience store, grocery store, in, in, in some cases in California and the United States, grocery stores, convenience stores, everywhere has cigarettes. It's a consumer product. All you have to do is be old enough and you can buy cigarettes. You can buy as many cigarettes as you want. You can buy cartons of cigarettes, just cartons on cartons on cartons of cigarettes and no one will question you. You go into a convenience store, like I want five cartons of cigarettes, they'd be like, okay, I will sell you five cartons of cigarettes, assuming that you have this little card that says that you're allowed to, tells me your age. Yep, 100%. But if you ever wanna stop smoking cigarettes, you need to go to a doctor and get a prescription and then go to a pharmacist? Won't people just keep smoking cigarettes? Doesn't that seem ridiculously difficult? That's insane to me. It's insane to me that it's not a consumer product. But a lot of what Australians tobacco policy has been like completely insane to me. Okay, so last thing. Voters who are under a great deal of financial stress are more than like more than twice as likely to vape compared to those who reported being under no stress at all. 13% versus 5%. So we have a bunch of stressed out Australians not knowing where they're going to get their harm reduction products from having cigarettes always readily, easily available literally everywhere. So someone, like just as an example, if someone had to, if someone had spent the last few years tapering down their nicotine, you know, tapering down their nicotine, and they went from like a 50 milligram to like an 18 to like a 12, and now they're on like a three, and that's what's working for them, their three milligram is illegal, and they'll be forced as forced as you can be, you'll be forced to go to a pharmacist to get a 50 milligram prescription and consume way more nicotine than you were outside of the prescription model. Whoa, 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 whoa. Seamus, I wouldn't even take it that far. I would say prescription models should never exist. <laughs> prescription models should never exist. I, until cigarettes are a prescription, vaping should never be a prescription. That's insane. That's just prohibition. 
Prescription is prohibition. They say it's a prescription model. It's a prohibition model because in the U.S., when we had alcohol prohibition, you could still get alcohol, but you could get it with a prescription. In, in Australia, they have vape prohibition, but you can still get a vape through a prescription. It's prohibition. Prescription models for, for any harm reduction products should not exist. Taxes for any harm reduction products should not exist. We don't tax methadone. We just don't because we recognize that it's harm reduction and we recognize that it saves people's lives. Vaping will get there, but we don't tax. I mean, we don't, we don't tax harm reduction. A pack of smokes in Australia can exceed $50. Wow. I mean, you guys just get fucked up the butt. That being, that's insane. <laughs> that's insane. That's insane to me. That's unbelievable that one pack of cigarettes over 50 bucks. And people are still smoking in Australia. People still smoke cigarettes. People still pay the money to smoke cigarettes. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd disagree with you if I could, Jason Vapes. I would disagree with you if I could. Okay, so there's an Australian news chunk. Hope everybody in Australia is managing to weather the storm. Uh, here's what I would encourage the people in Australia to do. Uh, break laws. Do crime. Import vapes. Uh, keep importing your vapes, DIY as much as possible, stock up. As far as I know, Vaporize is still shipping from New Zealand to Australia. Support Vaporize so that they can continue selling things from New Zealand into Australia. Mark Butler and the powers that be need to know how bad of a failure this is. It doesn't need to just fail. It needs to fail in like a severely like dramatic way, you know, in a, in a big dramatic way. I want the next poll that's done with vapors. I want them all to say, I get 100% of my vapes from the black market. That's what they say. I want everyone to say, I get 100% of my vapes from the black market. Saw my old brand of cigarettes being sold close sold for close to $70, $70 for one package of cigarettes. Yowza. You know, yeah. Thank you, Michael Redford. You're, you're my MVP tonight. Uh, civil disobedience is the only way to have bad laws repealed. Civil disobedience. Yes. I, I, I could not agree with you more. Michael Redford could not agree with you more. Yeah. If you're on Australia, do it. You're already criminals. The, the government of Australia already said that you're criminals. <laughs> the cops are going to be looking for people with illicit vapes. They're going to be looking. So yeah, uh, break the law. Do crime in Australia. Hell yeah. Vape. Don't ever smoke cigarettes. It's black market for a lot of people. Look, the United States, and maybe it's you know, obviously it's different in, in other countries rather than in the United States. And it's different from the UK to Australia. And it's different from Australia to New Zealand. And all of these, you know, sort of socioeconomic groups are all, all different all across the country. But I will say that in the United States, we have, I mean, I don't want to say thriving, but it is a really hyper thriving illicit market. We have a really big gray market. We have a really great, like big, just straight up illicit market. Like this illicit, this country clouds is illicit. This ghost bar is definitely illicit. They can't enforce. They can't enforce. So it just kind of keeps going. Civil, civil disobedience did work for the weed industry. Also relentless relentless reaching out to elected officials also worked for the vape industry or for the, for the marijuana industry, for the cannabis industry. All of my vapes, all of them are illicit. Yep. All of them are illicit. Almost everything I have on my desk, literally everything I have on my desk is an illicit vape product. Illicit. So just keep going. Just keep, keep vaping. Don't, don't stop. And I know that's easy for me to say sitting in California, you know, we have a flavor ban and I have flavored shit all over my desk and I got flavored shit in the mail the other day and I sent out flavored shit in the mail. We have a California flavor ban. Has it affected me in any way? Zero, literally zero. 
<laughs> Literally zero. Has the federal vape mail ban affected me in any way? Me personally, literally zero. Other people, yes, it's, it is much more difficult to get vape stuff, but not impossible. But not impossible. Oh, all my vapes are illegal. All my liquids are illegal. It's crazy that, you know, I could buy nicotine and that's not illegal. And I can buy PG and that's not illegal. And I can buy VG and that's not illegal. But as soon as I mix all these components together with some flavoring and try to inhale them, then that's illegal. I like being a nicotine criminal. Me too, Jason Vapes. See, it's not all that out of the ordinary for me. I've been, you know, I, <laughs> I've been a skid my whole life, man. Like, I barely graduated high school, smoking cigarettes in sixth grade, drinking beers, getting high, some light vandalism, some light B and E's. Like, I was headed down a pretty bad path. So, yeah, fuck authority. Can't stand it. Let's have some more beer. All right, Australia. So keep going in Australia. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Let's get into some comments of the week, which I don't have like a little bumper for or anything. So I'm going to play this. America, this is you. Twice. America, this is you. What a banger. That's a banger of a song. Banger of a track. Uh, I've got some favorite comments of the week. Uh, this used to be a much more regular segment, but it's kind of gets uh, squeaked in every once in a while. Uh, Snowho says, when we had a vape flavor ban at the old shop I worked at, we sold a tobacco flavor called Fuck Bunny. But LCB officer didn't even question it. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's, there's, there's, yes, that's a really great way to do it. That's a really great way to do it. This is a tobacco flavor. This, that's right. It says cornbread pudding, but that's actually how they type tobacco flavor. You can just call things a tobacco flavor. You go, no, no, this isn't flavor, it's tobacco flavor. It just happens to be like blueberry toast tobacco. <laughs> and they're not gonna vape it. They're not gonna like, let me knuckle that. Let me knuckle that tobacco flavor. Make sure it tastes like peanut shavings. Let me knuckle that. Yeah. Okay. That's tobacco. That tastes like peanut shavings. That can be vaped. <laughs> that can be vaped. Yeah. We're already going too long, aren't we, Mallory? I know. Let's get into some of these uh, favorite comments of the week. I know. I need to cut down the news rants. Oh, yeah. This is a guy, White Tiger. I'm, I'm sure he didn't mean anything. And honestly, he, I wish he didn't have said, stop lying. That's whatever. But yeah, it's a it's well, well over a thousand puffs. I said, and I didn't show it. To be fair, I didn't show it in the video, but I'll show you now. One thousand two hundred sixty-seven puffs. Super easily done. Should have done that in the video. Uh, didn't. But I have receipts, so there's no need to call me a liar. I always have receipts. We got another one here. Arlene. 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 He is so right. Three days of not smoking a cigarette. I smoked for 28 years. I'm proud of myself. I use disposable pods. I have not craved a cigarette yet. Arlene, Arlene, Arlene. These are the, that's everything. Like that's everything. Arlene got a disposable, gave up cigarettes. Welcome. Welcome. You want a disposable ban? If you want a disposable ban, you have to be okay with telling Arlene that she needs to smoke cigarettes again because she used a disposable to quit. And that's like, I don't know, apparently such a bad thing if she quits with a disposable because I don't know why for some reason people feel like that's a really bad thing. It's not. It's great. Arlene has greatly improved her quality of life and her health, regardless of what you think of disposables. Uh, okay, here goes. This is just Al. Uh, I don't know what Al's qualifications are, but we're going to listen to Al. He says, here goes. The UK in a nutshell. Petitions are a waste of time. All right. Uh, they could only force a debate, which has to happen, which already has to happen anyway. The consultation is a waste of time. The decision is already made, and the consultation does not allow you to address anything that would go against the decision. Cancer Research UK? Yeah, those of us with long memories know about their anti-vaping stance. They jump on any bandwagon like all charities. 
The tax is to appease the cigarette smoking, them things should be banned Daily Mail readers. Sadly, the Daily Mail is no longer a Tory supporter. Oops, the tax is to discourage non smokers from taking it up, but the kids aren't buying vapes from official sources anyway. Okay. Uh, the real end of vaping in the UK is the flavor ban. Apparently, they are going for menthol only as that's the least popular flavor, so it won't appeal to kids or, or anyone else. Still not seen, seen the promised consultation, but we all know that it will be skewed to effectively ban everything. Now, I don't know what Al's qualifications are, and I don't know that I necessarily agree with him on everything, but I think a tax and a flavor ban in the UK would both be like the worst thing that will ever happen in the UK. We're not talking about UK news yet. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, but oh, UK. I bought a G3 off the back of your words. I'm so happy with it. I was a fully quit smoker who always had strong urges to smoke when I had a beer. In my mind, those two things go hand in hand. Now I have my G3 and it sits in a drawer most of the week. It comes out on the weekends and lets me have my little beer and vape fun. And then it goes back in the drawer on Sunday. No more worrying about if this will be one of the weekends where I cave and buy a pack. Thank you for your insight. Yes, this, everything. Vaping is so much more. Vaping is so, so much more that the idea that this dude who has already quit, quit cigarettes. But when he has a beer on the weekends, I want to have a cigarette. He's like, I want to have a cigarette. Now the G3, he just keeps it in his drawer all week long, vapes it on the weekends with his beer and never has to worry about caving and you know what we would call relapsing into combustible cigarettes. Thank God for vaping. Thank God for vaping. Uh, sewer rug last week had a super chat that went unread and that is unacceptable to me. Yo, yo, and salutations. Thanks grim green for always reading every single super chat, but most, but mostly party on dudes. Hashtag yo, yo, tendencies, hashtag eat wildflowers. Yeah. I know that sewer rug did this super chat after the stream ended. And that's why the joke about thanks for always reading every single super chat. But the joke's on you because I did. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, so this is the last one I want to read. I don't know if I have time to even do this. I don't know how long this is going to take. I don't know how long this is going to take because this is a long comment. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. I've been meaning to read this comment for a while. Here it is. Look at this novel on YouTube, on YouTube. This person has a lot of thoughts. The only problem I have with disposables is the environmental problem, which is becoming a real eyesore in some places. And there's nothing a disposable can't do that a small pod can't. Okay. Already. No. <laughs> Already. No. Already. No. There is nothing that a disposable can do that a small pod can't. Yes. Lots of things, many things, like not leak. That's the first one. It doesn't require any filling. It doesn't require any pulling out of little stoppers to then take your liquid bottle and fill it up. Then none of this happens in a disposable. This is something disposable can do that pods can't. You fill it up, okay. All of this. A disposable can do all of this. This is a weird argument against disposables that pods do the same thing. Pods don't do the same thing. That's fine. I'm not even in the first sense of this. If you can get into the packaging of a disposable, you can swap a pod. So I don't really get the argument that it restricts availability. So let me explain it to you how it is restricts availability. Not everybody has perfectly functioning hands, arms, brains, bodies, or anything like that. There's lots of people who smoke cigarettes that can't have fine motor skills to fill up a pod. They, they literally can't. Things like age and arthritis and, and many other things that would actually prevent someone from being able to use a pod. If I have my 
whoever open a disposable package for me and hand me the disposable, then I can just vape that disposable. It's weird that you want to gatekeep. I don't understand. I've never understood gatekeeping the disposables. I can't read all this. I'm only two sentences in. Maybe we'll have to do this in segments. Um, uh, the same device can be easily re-engineered to allow the pod to be replaced and just make sure that the pods themselves are available and inexpensive. Nor have I ever come across anyone who has any trouble changing a pod or charging a battery. They exist. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, they exist. I've never seen, I have never seen someone riding a bicycle with a red helmet. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I've never seen someone riding a bike with a red helmet. They must not exist. Uh, <laughs> see, I keep getting off track. We can't do this right now, can we? Of course, the, if the pods are refillable, that's a bonus, but it doesn't have to be mandatory. If the pods are supplied pre-filled in a variety of flavors, cost can be even lower if the coil can be replaced, but that is both rarer and more fiddly, so I wouldn't expect everyone to cope with that or decide them for any inability to do so. So that is the basis on which I don't object too much to the disposable ban. The device is difficult to dispose of properly as it has a battery, traces of nicotine, some small quantity of electronics, and a sealed plastic case, which in combination makes it almost impossible to recycle. This guy seems like a subject matter expert on disposables. Many councils will not take them in the household or refuse trash if they insist on everything being separated into different components for recycling. I've had an issue with all three sentences that I've read so far. All, every single sentence. I have a feeling I'm going to rebut every single sentence, every single sentence in this. My wife wouldn't use pods if I wasn't the one refilling them. Absolutely, tribal Buddha. Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. And I mean, we've shared stories and I've read stories from, you know, this woman whose father was like 80 plus years old, had dementia, remembered that he smoked cigarettes, can't have him smoking cigarettes in the house. We give him a disposable. He gets his nicotine, doesn't burn down the house, doesn't, can't fill up a pot on his own, you know, relies on everybody else. So you tell people who need disposables, sorry, sorry, we have this life-saving technology, but we don't really want you using a disposable because plastic. Your life is worth less than plastic. Your life is worth less than the rigmarole of going to recycle a battery. We can't be bothered to recycle batteries, so we'll just let those, those people's lives, do, they don't matter. They don't matter. Yeah, he, that guy has a Reddit account. That guy's a Reddit moderator, bro. Reddit moderator. Um, let's see what I would like to do right now. <laughs> Comments of the week. Uh, how about I'll switch this around. We'll do some AI art. Should we do AI art or retro vaping? AI art or the retro vaping. AI art or the retro vaping. Oh, you mean this comment? <laughs> You mean this comment you don't want to see on the screen? This is a, like, this is a person who has a very surface level understanding of things, but also believes that they have a very deep understanding of things. And not just that, definitely feels the need based on their surface level understanding of things to give all sorts of recommendations and, uh, you know, tips and advice and like what they think vaping should be like. Yeah, definitely ban disposables. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. What do people say? Retro, 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 retro. Okay, uh, real quickly, I have to bio break and I'm gonna free the dogs from their crates after they ate dinner. So 
I'll be right back. And this is my be right back screen. I will be right back 30 seconds max. Well, I will see how fast I can pee. 30 seconds max. going to do? Oh yeah, retro vaping. That's right, we're going to retro vape. I think that music is uh like from GTA. I've never played GTA, but I've heard it's from GTA. So, uh the retro vape we have today is so retro. It's so retro that I it's not even anything to build. That's crazy. It's not even anything to build. This is going to be a shining example of how difficult it was in let's say what year was this 2013 let's say this is an example of how hard it was to quit smoking in 2013 hey uh, you see this you see this back in the day Inakin was like the, the king of vaping. All the sh everything they released was just bangers after bangers after bangers. Everything was great. I loved the SVD. I loved the iClears. I loved the VTR. I loved everything that Inakin was doing. They could just do no wrong. And then, you know, the VTR wasn't like, I don't know, amazing. It was fine. It wasn't like amazing. I didn't use it that much. But we have a VTR. I'm going to show you this, but I think we're going to, is this, unless this is the same tank. I have a different tank. I'm going to grab this tank. I'm going to grab this tank. But here, the VTR, move my beer. I taste VTR. Look at that. 2013, taste it. Love it. Yeah, hopefully the battery is still good, but... It's an 18650 on the bottom, single 18650. It's not even a lipo. We all thought it was a lipo, but it ain't no lipo. That's a single 18650 in there. Boom. If this will stay shut. Okay, there it goes. Yep. Come on. Ah, look at that. It's flashing. It came to life. This was the wattage adjustment. And I think I need to put something in there. So this was the original side-by-side. -side. This was the original side-by-side. Side-by-side, -side, except there was a little ring at the top. And there was Clearomizers. Shout out to you, Urn. Shout out to you, Earn, for the Clearomizer, the iClear 30 from Anakin. I don't know if this is actually going to fit in here or not. Yeah, okay. Woo! Look at that. iClear 30 inside of the VTR. And so it was like a side by side. And it came with an included coil which still utilized silica wick, but it wasn't an iClear 30. It was a completely different 
different tank. I want to use the iClear 30 for sure because that was the legendary, the legendary Clearomizer. But what this iTaste VTR also did that I thought was pretty cool. I know. <laughs> Sunday Night Drunk. I hated those. The iClear. You know, it was like, it was complicated. The iClear was complicated. I liked it. And I also hated it, but it was like, at this time, what else did we have? Nothing. But they did sell an adapter so that, look how tall that adapter comes out of the top. So then you could put an atomizer up here or, you know, a cardo tank up here and just use it as a big, blocky, single 18650 watt guy. And I can't even explain to you how heavy this is. It's heavier than like anything on my desk by a mile. I don't know if this is made out of pure stainless steel or lead or something, but it is bananas, bananas. Now, this iClear 30 on the other hand, silica, silica wick, silica wick. Silica wick. And there was some controversy. Should I fluff the wicks? Should I do some wick fluffing? There was a technique that people did. Maybe I can try to uh, I can try to demonstrate this technique. I won't do it with all of them, but these were silica wicks. Silica, it's lead, it's iron. <laughs> it's iron, it's made of iron. Silica wicks, and they're like little silica ropes. And what people would do, what I would do to get better wicking is you unroll these. See that unrolled? Unroll this one, unroll this one. Just go pat, go through, unroll all of these. And that was supposedly going to make all the flavor better, you see. It made the wicking better. The ropes didn't wick super well. So I would go through and unroll all of these. Fluffing the wicks has been around for a really long time. Fluffing the wicks, it's a, it's a classic thing. And we'll put this back on. And now we have fluffed wicks inside of our iClear tank. The coolest part about the iClear tank, this is mouth to lung, right? All right. We're going to go for some uh, guava jelly. My favorite thing about the silica wicks in the tank is they turn clear. They turn transparent when you fill it up with liquid. Mine still has an alligator vapor skins. Mud Shark, you still have your eye taste? You still have your eye taste? So if I fill this up, Pow. Pow. I think that's as full. That's too full. That's too full. I can't believe I wasted that much guava jelly. It's too full. But see all the wicks turned clear. Maybe that's why they called it the eye clear. Huh? Maybe that's why they called it the eye clear 30. Yeah, you didn't get burnt hits. Yep. <laughs> Jake Scrapwood. Yep. You didn't get burnt hits. You, they were just dry and hot. Also, huge feature of the iClear 30, the swivel tip. What? Swivel it. Swivel it wherever you want it to go. All around, side to side. Swivel tip. You can point it slightly at your mouth. Slightly at your mouth. I want it. I want it phrasing. I want a, I want a retro vape that'll drive me insane. Okay. I taste SVD. No, VTR. Can I adjust the wattage? Oh, oh now it's on. How do I? Uh... Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it had a max it maxed out at 15 watts. Oh, I can't show you. 
Show me the display. Okay. Okay, 1.8 ohms. I don't know what U6.0 is. And then this is the wattage. So we're going to turn it down 11 watts. 11 watts, I clear 30. Super tight, super tight airflow. I don't know if this has even had a chance to really wick yet. I can't imagine it has. I taste VTR. Hang on. It's already getting gurgly. So let's, uh, I'm going to put the drip tip back like that so I can thumb it. That's bad. Because that's bad. That's bad. That's just bad. Didn't even fire. Not bad. Not great. You know, not great. But. I felt like this was better. I felt like the I feel like the iClear 30 was a better vape than this. Maybe this was just really old or maybe the standards were just lower back then because all the vapes were bad. Uh you know, here's the thing. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. This is a 50/50, Gunny. This is a 50/50 in here. That silica flavor, like that silica side flavor is not, not good. No bueno. Dislike. Dislike. What's up, con man? I see you over there on Twitch. Ugh. The flavor is, I mean, it's kind of exactly like Jake Scrapwood. <laughs> it's kind of exactly like Jake Scrapwood said. It's not burnt. It's not like a burnt hit. It just feels dry and it just feels hot. Dry and hot. I'm still on volts? What? That can't be possible. I mean, I'm not hitting this at 15 volts. I don't know why it keeps turning off. It's a 1.8 ohm. Yeah, 11 watts. It can't be volts, right? I'm actually going to turn it up. I'm going to turn it up to 13 watts. I'm going to turn this up to 13 watts and see if it what it does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what were the price of these? Smith & Wesson's making a great point on Twitch. What What are the price of these? In When they came out, I, I, they were probably over a hundred dollars, over a hundred dollars, right? It's just hot and dry. It never is going to burn though, you know? Vape it all day tomorrow. Challenge on the floor. I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could just stick with this all day. I genuinely don't. It, when I go back and ra vape retro vapes like this, it makes me wonder how anybody quit smoking. How did anybody do it back in the day? You had to really, really want it. You had to really want it. Even today, you know, even today you find people who smoke cigarettes who try a pod and they're like, nah, I don't like it. You're like, I'm sorry, what? You're going to like this and you're going to like it. Because I had to quit with a fucking iClear 30 back in the day with no flavor and just hot, warm silica breath in your mouth. And I was able to quit. You know, you had to really want it back in the day. This is not a good vape. You sold them for $150. Joseph is saying he sold them for $150. That's a 
B and M price, a brick and mortar price. You were paying a hundred bucks for Kanger Tech stuff back in the day. Dang. It keeps turning off. I don't know why it keeps turning itself off. Maybe I'm chain vaping it too hard. But look, we've actually got the liquid down. The liquid's gone down in the tank a little bit. We've vaped it enough to get through the liquid. This is peak vaping in 2013. Like this is pretty peak vaping in 2013. I, at this time, didn't care about clearomizers. I was already on to Cardo tanks. I thought Cardo tanks were the bomb.com. And that's all I cared about. I tried, I tried, I tried to vape clearomizers. I could never get into them. But that swivel drip tip, that's everything. Look at that. Point it right at your face hole. Turn it lower. It keeps turning off because it's too retro. It could be. It's like, what year is it? Okay, well, I was only at 11 watts. All right, we'll go to 12 watts. I was only at 13 watts. It, I, it, I can't quite tell Jake Scrapwood if it's the PWM buzz or if that's just the airflow squeaking. I think it's the airflow. Nope, it's PWM. You can hear it. Listen. You hear it? It goes me me me. You know, I miss Cardo tanks too, Bendy. I miss Cardo tanks too. There's a lot of pods these days that remind me of how, like how a Cardo tank used to feel and how a Cardo tank used to vape. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Swazzy, I I tried and failed to quit with stuff like that. It wasn't until like when the Baby Beast came out that I was finally able to fully switch. Vape Tech had a long way to go before it got really good. Vape Tech had a long way to go. I'm convinced. I mean, anybody like 2013 and back, you earned, you earned that quit. You earned it hard. It's easy to quit now. It was difficult to quit back then. Yeah, you can hear it. You can hear it. I mean, it's not volts. There's no way I'm blasting this at 15 volts. That's not possible. This is definitely watts. The SVD came out before this and it had wattage mode. Shows me my resistance. Okay, I'm gonna turn this to as low as it'll go. I'm gonna turn this to five. Power level five. If this is five volts, I will be shocked. Yeah, it's nothing. It's literally nothing. It's firing nothing. It fi this is wattage, 100% wattage. There's no way it's volts. Five watts? Won't even let me fire five watts. Oh, it just keeps turning itself off. Fascinating. That's got to be a safety feature, right? Or it's just a really, really old. Yeah, this is definitely wattage, you guys. I'm going to turn this up to 15 watts. We'll try it again. 11 was my starter, and it was weak. So I turned it up to 13, and that was a little bit better. And then everyone said turn it down. So I turned it to 5 and didn't even vape. This is 15 watts. Okay. The v Never mind. I'm not going to be able to vape this. I think it's just dead. Says on. Okay, go. Hmm. Yeah, that's better, actually. That's better. It has to be watts. There's no way. There's no way that this is volts. You're not getting 15 volts out of a single 18650. It's just not possible. It's not going to happen. It's, 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 that's not a reality. That's not real life. There's no way that this is watts. There's no way that this is volts. It is watts. It's 100% watts. It just keeps turning off. I keep turning it on 
and it turns itself off. Just like that. Here, I'll show you what happens. One, two, three. On. Just wait a sec. Oh, firing. Okay, it's firing now. 15 watts. Okay, it's firing now. No, it just turned itself off. Yeah, it just turned itself off. Oh, now it turned itself on again. I only pressed it once. Okay. The iTaste uh, VTR is dead. It's gone. It's done. This ain't working. But the iClear 30 can remain in the rotation forever. I can just keep vaping it. We could put it on a DNA maybe. Let's try to put it on a DNA. Yep. 17 watts. Hmm. That's actually way better. A thousand times better. Oh, the battery door. Good call. That is definitely the battery door. That is definitely the battery door that's causing this to fire, to turn on and off. I can squeeze it and turn it off. I can squeeze the battery door and turn it off. This right here. You can see it. You can see it losing the connection. You can see it. But, ba ba da ba 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 I clear 30. You hear that slurp? You hear that slurp in there? All right. Well, thanks, iClear30, for a whole lot of nothing. I taste VTR, iClear30. What a classic combo. What a freaking classic combo. iClear30. Good Lord. That was not a pleasant vape. I need to have like a good vape after that. There we go. Which do you prefer as a daily banger? The DNA 75C 18650 or DNA 100C 21700? Uh, probably the 100C, but I have a lot of issues with the 100C. I also need to go take a bio break real quick. So uh, I'll be right back. I clear 30. I clear 30. Yeah, you know, I there's that was the beer. That was the beer. The original bio break was was hydration. That was beer. Here's the thing. Uh the more water that you drink in your life, just in your day-to-day -day life, like I try to finish one of these every day. The more water you drink, the the stronger your bladder muscles get. And so I can drink a shit ton of water and hold it. And it doesn't feel, I'm not like antsy that I have to go pee. I can hold it as my bladder muscles get stronger. But there's something that happens in my brain where my brain's like, no, you're at home. Just go pee now. You have to go pee right now. Just a thing that happens. Just a thing that happens. Any way. What were we moving on to? How about some super chats? Let's see if anything else came in. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Oh, thank you, guys. Uh, hang on. Let me mark these. That one. That one. Done. Noob. Kaz. Josh. Frank. Barbara. Let's see. We got Allie. We got David. That's right. Rampax. 
Janine. Face me. All right, here we are at the Cloud Chucker. Cloud Chucker, that's very gracious of you. I appreciate that. It says, hey, Grim Green, do you know how long Obey Robot takes to deliver to the UK? I have ordered the Stubby Skulls panels for my Stubby X-Ray 21700. Hell yeah. Excellent choice. I actually I don't know how long Obey Robot takes to deliver to the UK. I know that they're coming from South Africa. And, you know, one of the things I try to put out there is that a lot of these vape companies, you know, this is something I used to talk to talk to DHD about all the time, and that is they're not Amazon, you know? So if you're ordering something from like a craft vape shop, you know, if you're ordering from Beecher or you're ordering from Turk or you're ordering from Obey Robot, don't assume that it's Amazon and that you're going to get a shipping notification within one minute and it'll be delivered the next day. You know, we have to be realistic about the fact that there's just a few people running a lot of these companies and then it takes a little bit longer sometimes to get to you. I don't know how long it takes, Cloud Chucker. I wish I did. I'm sorry I'm not more help, but I appreciate you uh, chucking clouds all over my stream. Mike P., uh, I currently live in Athens, Greece. Vaping is great here. Might move to Miami or Baltimore soon. How are vaping things going on there? Anything I should know? If you're planning on moving to Miami or Baltimore, I would say that Miami is going to have a much better vaping space, uh, at least right now, than Baltimore. I can't say that with a whole ton of confidence because th the governor of Florida still has to veto the Big Tobacco Protection Act, the PMTA registry bill. So vaping in Florida could be getting turned upside down, but I'm really hoping it doesn't. My vote would be uh, Miami. Greece, yeah, Greece has great, great vape laws, great vape legislation. Uh, Greece had a, a big tax for a really long time, and then they got this tax completely removed. Greece is a good place for vaping. Tim. Very gracious of you. PG, FDA approved. VG, FDA approved. Nicotine, FDA approved. Flavors, FDA approved. Put it all together? Nope. And it's not It's not even like, yeah, it's put it all together and then it becomes something that's not FDA approved, you know. Put something together, it becomes FDA approved. But <laughs> hang on. Yes, you're 100% correct. Not F the, the PG... PG, VG, all these things are separate. All these things are generally recognized as safe together. I mean, nicotine is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. So yeah, it's that you put these together and suddenly they're not approved. But what FDA is really going after is intention. It's intended use. So it could come to a point, and I hope it doesn't, but it could come to a point where PG is not legal unless you're using it outside of a vaping product. If you plan on using, if your intended use of that PG is for a nicotine liquid, then it's going to become illegal. But until it becomes a nicotine e-liquid, it's not illegal. It's intended use. It makes me actually insane. Actually insane. Didi, that's very gracious of you. UK, uh, Australia, UK states, total fucking clown world. On the upside, I still get my gear and vape flavors via USPS. Excited to get my Pure Max Monday. Hell yeah, Didi. I hope that Pure Max works out for you. And yeah, we still get stuff USPS all the time. Chef Seamus, uh, in for a Canadian news segment one of these days. Uh, you know, yeah, you're right. I have not really called out, made specific time for Canada. I have not done that. I have not done that. You're right. I appreciate that, Seamus. Thank you for calling me out. I'll make space for Canada. I will make space for Canada. Absolutely. Mike D, uh, I owe you one from last week. <laughs> it came today. So yo, yo, and yo, and why to bring me in. Oh, okay. I see. I see. You owe me a why. Yeah, Mike D. Okay. Thank you for clarifying that. You do owe me a why. So here's the yo, yo. Appreciate you, Mike D. Cool kid hangs. Uh, Tribal Buddha. Yeah, hella chats anytime soon. Okay, uh, I have it written down here, but for some reason I always miss it. I'm on I'm on it, hella chats. I'm on it, Tribal Buddha. And then Gunny, here's five bucks to say gatekeeping sucks. F prohibition. Yeah, F prohibition. 
And then Raw Chuck says, hella chats. Appreciate you, Raw Chuck. I appreciate you guys doing the hella chats. Let me uh, let me get over there. This is something, yeah, I need to keep this tab right next to the, to the other tab. Um, yo, yo, Frank Neal, appreciate that. Resubscription. Catfishy says, okay, can we start having fun now? I've arrived. You have. You have. That was a few days ago. Uh, Daniel B says, let's go. Hell yeah. Thank you for subscribing over there, Daniel B. I appreciate that. Raw Chuck. Sorry, I'm late. Oops, got to go. <laughs> Raw Chuck. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Oops, got to go. Sorry, I'm late. Stop. Shit, got to go. <laughs> I appreciate you, Raw Chuck. I appreciate you very much. And with that said, I think there's a USA News Chunk coming up. Let me let me check off things I've done. Yes, yes, yes. Australian news chunk. Retro. Yes. All right. Let's jump into a US news chunk. There I only have one thing I wanted to mention uh in the US. All right. And that is Hang on. Let me get there. Uh sorry. Sorry. Just some minor dangle clacks. Just annoying. Okay, so the amazed part of the vlog title, I was disgusted, disgusted, disgusted by what's going on in the UK. Straight up, no joke, disgusted. I'm kind of amazed and impressed at something that's going on in the United States because in Kentucky, there's a representative, Representative Savannah Maddox. Representative Savannah Maddox. We're just going to sit and sing the praises of Kentucky Representative Savannah Maddox right now. This was her tweet. If HB 11 passes, which is the PMTA registry bill, if, P if HB 11 passes the Senate and becomes a law, many of Kentucky small businesses will be hurt or even forced to close. Many Kentuckians will be furious once they find out that their legislature is done, but it'll be too late. Contact your state senators and ask them not to move HB 11 before it's too late. And remember to ask, where does the nanny overreach? Where does the nanny state overreach end? Yeah, this is good. This is really good stuff. Some of these PMTA registry bills are being challenged by people that can actually um, make change. So let's hear from, uh, let me turn this volume all the way up, make sure we can hear what she has to say. This is all great. Just take this all in. This is it's like a film strip time. E-cigarettes will be available for purchase in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Lady Butler. I can't give you an exact number, but I know it'll be the products that meet the FDA's definition of what they say can be on the market. Lady from Grant. Mr. Speaker, can I speak on the bill? Yes, ma'am. I have here pulled up in front of me the exact number of products that would be able to be sold here in the Commonwealth of Kentucky if we were to pass this legislation. This list provided by the FDA includes 23 products, but that doesn't mean that there are 23 e-cigarettes that can be sold according to this list. There are three, three modules. Now, every year there's usually a bill or two, maybe more, that we go home and we have constituents that come up to us and say, why in the world did you vote for that bill? Doesn't matter how you're registered, doesn't matter what side of the aisle you on, We've experienced this. This will be that bill where our constituents say, why did you vote in favor of banning this too, particular Roger. product for adults to use? Because as we all know, it is every bit as illegal for minors to purchase this product as it is for them to purchase alcohol. Every bit of it's illegal. And this is being proposed as something that is designed to reduce harm in minor children, when in reality, it will do no such thing. It will do no such thing. These products are already illegal. What it will do is harm Kentucky's businesses. That is exactly what it will do. And you can talk about the FDA approved list. You can, you can get into the merits of, of that particular bureaucracy. But what each one of us has to know is that when we press the yes button, we are voting to ban a product simply on the basis that we think we have the right to decide 
what types of products that Kentuckians should buy. And I want to ask, where does it end? Where does it end? Knowing that heart disease, for instance, is a leading killer across the nation and has been since 1950, are we going to start regulating salty foods, french fries? Type 2 diabetes is a real problem here in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. We all know it. We're going to outlaw sodas or pop, soft drinks, whatever you want to call them. Sugar? Where does it end? I don't believe it's the appropriate role of government for us to take on this nanny state facade and to ban products of this nature. So I encourage you all to vote no, and I think it's going to save you a lot of heartbreak if this actually passes out of the House and into the Senate when you go home, because folks are not going to be happy. Thank you. What? What? Savannah, 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 Maddox, Savannah, Maddox, Savannah. Well, I have a new political crush, and her name is Savannah Maddox, because everything that she just said is like, what, what music? It's like music in my ear holes. She gets it. She gets it. She sees the PMTA registry bill for what it is. She gets it. She sees that this is a big, big tobacco protection act. This is a big tobacco monopoly, and she's not going to stand for it. And uh, I love that. I've watched this video, I don't know, a few dozen times, <laughs> a few dozen times or something like that. She also posted this tweet, which I find really, really fascinating. Not just her tweet, but Greg Connolly's tweet afterwards where she says, proponents of HB 11 say the bill isn't being pushed by big tobacco industry. Here's proof that it is. Of course it is. Of course, this is a big tobacco monopoly bill. These sponsored ads are running in Kentucky right now, and look who's paying for them. The nanny state overreach bill is bad for Kentucky. Urge your state senators to vote no. Yeah, she's going out. She's going all out. She's she's swinging her arms around. She's she's kicking in the air. She's doing like hardcore dancing, windmills, you know, when the sick breakdown happens. But what's better than that is Greg Conley's response. Does anybody remember the Barclays report about big tobacco and Altria and Reynolds? Do you remember this? The Barclays report where they only they really are only focusing on finances. Gre Greg Conley, whoops, Greg Conley has this to say. What's worse is that Altria and Reynolds don't think this anti-competitive bill will cause a sudden influx of customers to their vaping products. They think more people will smoke more cigarettes. That's what they're actually hoping for. They're not trying to push these PMTA registry bills through so that everybody has to use their vape products. They don't even think that's going to happen. They think that people are going to smoke more cigarettes. It's possible that cigarette U.S. cigarette volumes will improve if the FDA and DOJ are successfully able to clamp down on disposable e-cig growth. Anybody who's vaping a disposable right now is costing Altria and Reynolds lots of money in cigarette sales. And these PMTA registry bills are literally nothing more than to try to bolster their cigarette sales. These PMTA registry bills have passed in a few states. PMTA registry bill just passed in Florida, and we're hoping that DeSantis will veto it hoping that a PMTA registry bill doesn't pass in Kentucky. But if you are a citizen of the United States, you need to do the CASA call to action for these PMTA registry bills and then do more and then call and then email and then call and then email. There was one, I'm going to put a link to Savannah in the description to this video in the description. Absolutely. It's one of the best things I've seen literally all week. All, literally all week, just been watching it on a loop, just over and over and over again, over and over again. You go, yeah, 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 <laughs> yes, definitely. I just, you know, gets me all fired up when you see someone who could actually make some change coming to the, to the correct, you know, to the logical conclusion of this. Yeah, you love to see it. There was someone in Florida as well. I'm not going to try to, I'm not going to, be able to spend too much time on this. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Where'd all my, I don't know where anything went. I don't know where anything went. I thought I had more tabs. Where did my tabs go? Where'd my damn tabs go? 
Well, I thought I had more, but I don't. So the last thing I'm going to show you is just the PMTA registry map. And every state that's in yellow has a, a PMTA registry bill on the books. Everyone in gray that does not have a PMTA registry bill in the process, Wisconsin, Oklahoma, Louisiana, and Alabama have all passed their PMTA registry bills, which means that if you live in, in Wisconsin, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Alabama, you get to vape, you know, a views legally, legally, you can only vape a views and really, yeah, it's, I mean, it's exactly like she said, businesses are going to close and that is going to drastically reduce access. It's going to keep people smoking cigarettes. These PMT registry bills are bad. I mean, really. Okay. I think I've made my pace with the PMTA registry bills right now. Um, oh, there's one more thing here from uh, Colorado. Yep, here it is. I knew I had more. Colorado. Nope, I always push the wrong one. Colorado, flavor bill. Uh, flavor ban dies. They had a flavor ban in Colorado, and it was defeated after long and arduous meetings of House and Business and Labor Affairs Committee. It was defeated on a six to five vote and there's no flavor ban in Colorado. So look, that's a win and I'm taking it as a win, but there's still PMTA registry bills going through the system. It's disgusting. I mean, it, it's, it's disgusting. We haven't even talked about the UK yet and it's disgusting. We haven't. So that's it for US. Uh, Colorado ban, PMTA registry bills, please do it. And, you know, it, we're dealing with literal propaganda in the United States. One of like the core tenets of successful propaganda is repetition. A lie repeated enough times becomes the truth. And the repetition that we're hearing of, hmm, it's a gateway to smoking. How do we still hear that argument when literally all of the data, all of the data says otherwise, we still hear it. They just want to continue to repeat it. It's like the youth vaping epidemic, youth vaping epidemic, youth vaping epidemic over and over again, youth vaping epidemic. If you say it enough times, it might actually become true, despite the fact that there never really was a youth vaping epidemic, but it got repeated enough that now the whole world thinks that there was a youth vaping epidemic. The whole world thinks Ivali was be from, come from nicotine e-cigarettes. It's just a lie that keeps getting repeated over and 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 over. And that is some damn ass successful propaganda. Yeah, the Rand Paul clip that goes around, that's a pretty good clip. There's a few okay clips of politicians kind of standing up, you know, and it's honestly, well, I don't know. I'm going to keep my political thoughts to myself, but it, it's real interesting. All of this is real interesting to me because, nope, I'll keep my political thoughts to myself, but I just want to say it's real real, real interesting watching who stands up for harm reduction and who doesn't stand up for harm reduction and what reasons they give for not standing up for harm reduction. So that's a little uh, USA news chunk. I think that's all I got. And what I'd like to do, it's 618. Holy cow. We have mail. We have mail to get through. We have AI art to get through. We've got a UK news chunk and we've got some liquids. That's not enough time. This is going to be long. Let's, oh, I want to open mail. You want to open mail right now or should we just crush the UK news real quick? Should we just crush the UK news real quick? Let's just crush the new UK news real quick. Uh, it's just one thing that I wanted to read that makes me sick. Just jumping right. right into the UK news. The UK is in a real rough spot. In fact, the UK's generational smoking ban that they are really, really, really very pushing towards could become part of uh, Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland might adopt the same UK generational smoking ban where nobody after a certain date can ever buy tobacco products or ever buy cigarettes, Northern Ireland might adopt this really, truly, truly terrible, terrible policy. 
Do the news now. I'm just tearing through the news. I'm already in a news mood. We're just going to crush the rest of this news. Um, disgusted. I'm disgusted. We're going to be reading uh, just real quickly from uh, Filter Magazine. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> I guess we're going to be reading from Filter Magazine. Oh, good. That's where I put it. Nice. Hmm. Just wanted the filter logo. Um, this was uh, written up in uh, Filter Magazine about the UK vape tax. United Kingdom's government has now confirmed a new vape tax. In a decision that angers advocates and threatens to undermine tobacco harm reduction, Chancellor Jeremy Hunt, the minister responsible for economic matters, announced the country's first ever specific tax on nicotine e-liquids, above and beyond standard sales tax, as part of his national budget on March 6th. The move has been widely expected and is intended, according to the government, to discourage young people and non-smokers from vaping. Why? Why? Who cares? Who cares? By your government's own admission, these are 95% less harmful than smoking combustible tobacco cigarettes anyway. Why are we so, so concerned with non-smokers picking up vaping? So much so, we're so concerned with non-smokers picking up vaping that we got to tax it to stop them from doing it, but we can't tax it so much that it deters people who smoke cigarettes from switching so in order to keep vaping cheaper than smoking, we're just going to have to raise the taxes on everything. You know, tide lifts all boats, I guess. Is that how it goes? I don't know why we're so concerned with non-smokers. <laughs> it, it actually makes no sense to me. Um, they go over, oh shit, there it is. They go over the prices, but we, we've had these prices on the stream before. And I'll just leave those up there while we finish reading this. They talk about how this is going to be charged and how nicotine-free e-liquids are still going to be taxed. This is Kid Bass. This is nothing but all about money. This is nothing but all about money. If the UK aims to achieve a smoke-free status, meaning less than 5% of the population would smoke by 2030, past UK policies have supported vaping as a way of achieving this goal. But more recently... Media, youth vaping outcry has helped spark measures, including a disposable ban. Acknowledging that vapes can play a positive role in helping people quit smoking, Hunt announced that there would also be a one-off increase in the tobacco duty to maintain a financial incentive to choose vaping over smoking. How is that not all about money? How is that not all about money? Explain this to me. Make it make sense. We're going to raise uh, the taxes on uh, these vaping products that we have said will save people's lives. We're going to raise the taxes on those and make them more expensive. Don't worry. We're also raising taxes on the really bad thing so that you can still encourage people. Well, vaping's still less expensive than smoking was. I guess it used to be less expensive, but now it's, it's more expensive. British vapors have reacted with dismay. Uh, Neil Dury says, I'm baffled by the tax on vaping products. He started smoking when he was 22. After years of trying to stop, he finally was able to quit with an e-cigarette at the age of 50. Neil says, they tell us to quit smoking and then decide to tax the product that helps us quit for no logical reason other than a tax grab. That's all it is. Yeah, Mud Shark, this has Bloomberg's fucking stink all over it all over it and i don't i'm never gonna say i told you so because that's a terrible thing to say but i will say that for the last few years we i've been trying to to communicate that bloomberg is getting his greasy tentacles all over the united kingdom all over the United Kingdom. It started in 2019 when Ash started getting real cozy with Bloomberg philanthropies. I'm like, well, hang on. This could be bad. It got bad. It got bad. This reeks of Bloomberg. Reeks of Bloomberg. From what I've seen, my vape will cost almost double. Wes in England told Filter on social media, yes, it's still cheaper than smoking, but that's a pretty low bar considering how expensive smoking already is. I'm considering DIYing or importing. 
basically saying, I'm considering the black market. <laughs> the, the UK government used to support my decision to quit smoking, but now that they don't, I'm going to have to turn to the black market. Robert, who quit smoking 10 years ago by using vapes, told Filter he was disgusted and saddened by the new tax, including the way it ramps up for higher nicotine levels. Yeah, think about that. They're trying to, it seems like they're trying to cause the most damage possible. Robert needs higher nicotine levels, he said, to help him cope with life. But he also needs to cut costs as he plans to retire soon and has chosen vaping a lower nicotine option because it's cheaper. With the tax hike, Robert said, even lower nicotine products will become too expensive for me. I can't, I just can't afford to pay with only $800 pension per month coming in with food, bills, and other things. How do I cope? British tobacco harm reduction advocate Clive Bates of Counterfactual Consulting echoed such concerns. On one hand, the government is encouraging vaping through NHS's stop to swap. But on the other, it's just going to clobber the smokers who take its advice. The UK has previously embraced science around vapes and harm reduction through helpful public information, widespread availability, and progressive policies. Not too long ago, the UK was held up as science over a moral panic, British consumer Miles Davis told Filter. It seems that that's no longer the case. David smoked for 35 years before quitting thanks to vapes five years ago. This vape tax makes absolutely no sense. If the government wants to get to a smoke-free status by 2030, it's not a good idea to make the most successful smoking cessation aid more expensive. There appears to have been no logical thinking applied to this at all. Less than none, L less than none logic, because the next part, the next part throws all logic out the window. It's always, always only been about money. I haven't opened mail yet. Mail's next, right after I read this. The government expects this new tax to raise $500 million in annual revenues by 2028 and 2029 physical year. Fiscal year, I should say. $500 million by 2028. A 2023 study, as Filter reported, indicate that if 50% of the people who smoke switch to reduce risk products, the government-funded National Health Services would save $518 million every year so instead of saving the national health services 500 million dollars a year they hope to raise 500 million dollars a year by taxing vaping money changes minds fast yep neil money will change minds fast so if they just continued helping people quit smoking, the NHS could save $518 million. But to make up for that, but they need that money, so they're going to tax it to make $500 million by 2028. Is, is there any logic in that? Is there any logic in that? Someone tell me if there's any logic in that. It seems like there's none. It seems like there's actually zero. Goes on to say, it isn't the tax that upsets many of us. It's the fact that more people are going to die. The less attractive vaping, the more attractive smoking is. In perhaps a sliver of hope for opponents of the vape tax, the government has opened a public consultation through which it says, we will consider your response, help shape our policy, and ensure vaping products duty achieves its objectives. It certainly makes no sense for public health, Bates said of the policy. A tax will add to the sense that vapes are more dangerous than they are. It's all completely incoherent and opportunistic and hopefully will be reversed before it takes effect more than two years from now. Disgusting. That is disgusting. I'm disgusted by that. I'm disgusted that this tax is going to exist. I'm disgusted that they're trying to raise... $500 million, they're trying to gain $500 million by taxing vaping. But if they didn't tax vaping and just a bunch more people quit, 
they would save $500 million from those people quitting cigarettes. It would be a win-win scenario to save $500 million and have your citizens be smoke-free. Instead, they just want the $500 million and then they kind of don't care. They kind of don't care if you smoke cigarettes or not. You know, they kind of don't care if you get your vape products. They kind of don't care if you get your, you know, if you smoke cigarettes or not because their shift, you know, they shifted suddenly to like $500 million. You know, it's like, they, well, you know, vaping is important. Harm reduction. People quit smoking $500 million. And then they just like jumped at it and said, fuck everybody else. We want this $500 million and they're going to get it from you and your e-liquid. Uh, can you get COPD from vaping? Uh, I would say it is astronomically unlikely to contract COPD from just nicotine vaping without a history of smoking cigarettes. I'm also not a doctor or uh, licensed in any way. This is not medical advice. So I'll have a link for the consultation down in the description. We, I mean, the, you, it's like, besides the generational smoking ban, besides the tax, and now there's a flavor ban. What happened in the UK? What happened in the UK? Oh yeah, Bloomberg, also money. Let's open mail. I'm disgusted by the UK. Not the, not the UK as a country. I don't want that to come across wrong. I love the UK, actually. I, I like going to the UK. I like visiting the UK. I, I, I like seeing the UK. I like watching UK TV shows. I like Ricky Gervais, you know? I love British people. Every British person I've ever met has been unbelievably awesome. And then it's just the problem is your government. Your government, whoa, whoa. <laughs> your government's all about money over science. And that feels, you know, it feels like we have more in common now. You know, there was a little bit of a divide between Americans and Brits where Brits were like, our government believes in science and they support vaping. And over here in America, we're like, they don't, you know, we don't, they, you know, our government, they don't, they hate us and they want us to die and they just want money. And now that that's kind of happening in the UK, I feel like a little bit more tight with the UK. You know, I feel a little bit more tight, like we're both going through the shit together. Now, um, uh, let's open some mail. Whew, sorry. I, had, I was on, a, I was on a, a tear there and I just wanted to get through the UK, the UK news. I mean, I can't say if Ricky Gervais is an awful person or not. He's funny. I think he's a funny guy. And I like that show extras quite a bit. But let's get into some uh, let's get into some mail. Chinese New Year is ending, and so Chinese mail should theoretically be picking up. And this is a Vupu guy, and I'm stoked for a Vupu guy. If there's some PNP coil heads in here, chances are I'm gonna dig it. I'm just hoping it's not disposables. That's my biggest fear. It's getting a package from a big vape company. It's like, oh, it's Vupu's doing disposables now. Oh, man. I, you know what? I don't think so. I think, in, in fact, I think I'm going to pop the top button open or down for vape mail. So I feel a little bit more, you know, I got my drip on. Oh, holy shit. Funny. Funny. That's funny. That's funny to me for so many reasons. Uh, I was, where is it? Oh, I guess it's in the kitchen. Did kitchen guy steal it already? I was, I was going through some of my old pods that I was, you know, giving really good reviews to. And I, I wanted to revisit some of them just to, I don't know, make sure they're, they're, they're still like up to my standards. And uh, the Vupu Argus was one of them. The Vupu Argus kind of keeps hanging around on pod rankings just barely, but it's still good enough to just keep hanging around. We got the Argus G, Argus, Argus G2. That to me 
Does that look like a big screen on the front? Does that look like a big screen on the front? Because there's Argus, also the Argus P2, which is, you know, the squared off Coco version of it. But I want to see if there's just a big screen on here. Let's open the, the, the pink one. It's, it's easier to give away gunmetal and stainless steel stuff than it is to give away like pink and gold. So I try to take those. Hey now, whoa mama. You are big. That is a uh, that is a G3. Uh, uh, where is that? That is like a G3 sized pod. It's bigger than a G3. Oh mama. Let's see. Oh, it vibrates. Oh, that's a big lighty screen. Holy crap, that's kind of cool. Holy crap, that's kind of cool. That is a really slick looking screen. That camera's not doing it justice. This camera might. Boom. Look at those LEDs on the side. It vibrates. It's got a battery level indicator and a percentage and a one, two, three, four, six digit puff counter. Six digit puff counter. Watch out world. We've got a six digit puff counter. All right, sick. Well. Maybe I can't take tomorrow completely off. We might have to shoot some video tomorrow, but we got some Argosy stuff. In fact, while we're here, let's just, I'm going to look at this tiny little guy because, you know, I see it's beefy. That is a big guy. It it's, it's big. That is big. Woo, that's big. I want to see if, yes, yes, yes. And a screen, and a screen, and glowy LEDs that I love. Why do I love that so much? Quad digit puff counter. Cool, Vupu, cool. It's nice to see Vupu like taking it to the next level. These, I mean, just my initial impressions that, that these are nicer than the, of any other Argus that I've had. They feel better. They feel slicker. All right, Vupu. Oh, I'm excited about that. But wait, there's more. Boo-poo, boo-poo, boo-poo. I know there was a quick QR code. I'm sorry. I tried to get it off the screen as fast as possible. <gasps> oh, this, we're going to try these tonight. Holy shit. We're going to try these tonight. I am so excited about this. You have no idea. So I think it was Earn. Who was it? Who, who was it that posted these? Um, these are... empty pouches these are empty pouches so zins and 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 whatever snooze zins i don't know why i can't think of any other brands velo you know nicotine pouches these are blank nicotine pouches they're just empty they come with nothing right but i'm gonna have to like read the instructions on how to do this It comes with, you know, I get a big tub of pouches. Fucking bullshit. Didn't even get all the plastic off the bottom. I get a tub of pouches that are just blanks. They're just nothing. It's like silica in there and just nothingness. And so what you're supposed to do is fill it up with your own liquid and then you toss them in here. And now I have a snooze container with a receptacle of my own. Like I could make guava jelly pouches. I could make cherry cola pouches. I could take every high nicotine salt nick that I have that I cannot vape, but I love the flavor of and turn them into pouches. I can take 
We should try this. Let's try this. I don't know how this works, though. I don't know how it works. I don't know how much I need. I want to see. Yeah, cellulose on the inside. That's it. Drip your favorite flavoring, tincture, or extract onto the pouch as desired or until almost saturated. Wait until liquid is fully absorbed. Place the pouch between the chink and the gum for the best results. Do not open, chew, or swallow pouch. Fluid pouches. I'm going to try this. I'm going to get a pouch. We're just going to do one experiment right now. And I have some cherry cola wick salts, which is a delicious flavor completely delicious flavor but i can't vape it because it's fucking 50 milligram oh no it's 18 milligram 18 milligram salts i just can't vape it so oh my god cicero dude empty pouches fully customizable fluid pouches this is the first blank it just feels like a zen or something like that you know it just feels like a zen and I'm going to try to put some liquid on here, I guess. I got to soak it up. This isn't a good view. Is that a better view? Nope. It's just white on white background. Soaks in kind of. It's like wetting a wick, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to just, I'm going to try to soak this and let it sit and see how much soaks in. It's soaking in quick. It looks like, um, like a, you know, a, like a Clapton with cotton in it. How the, how when you apply a little bit of heat, it just whoop, sucks it up. Maybe these are going to be more trouble than they're worth. But the idea of a DIY Nick pouch is like, I don't know, that's a, a insanely appealing to me. I don't know. This is going to be a lot of trial and error, isn't it? This is going to be a ton of trial and error. If I still cared about my former employer, I'd tell them about this product. Don't. It's better they don't know, Gunny. It's just better that way. But I got two... Um, giant tins of the fluid pouches. It's 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 a ridiculous amount of pouches. It's like hundreds of pouches. Uh, 100 pouches. Two 50 pouch tubs. Two 50 pouch tubs. I mean, it looks like it's soaking in. Yeah, that's very saturated. I mean, that may be too much liquid. That may be too much liquid. I'm going to let that soak and see what happens. I'm going to let that soak like a Mormon. We'll see what happens. All right. Oh, fluid pouches. Oh, I can smell it. Like a tampon. Soaks it up. Super absorbent. You think it's going to be too strong, Ray Ray? <laughs> maybe. You know, maybe. That's, you know, but that's part of the, that's part of the, you know, part of the process. Um, This has already been opened, but I had to open it on the vlog because you know what this is. This is, if there was a sponsor of this vlog, sometimes it's the coldest water bottle. It used to be like Vape Wild sponsored the vlog for a long time. Uh, a, a few other companies sponsored the vlog for a long time. There was that company in the UK that was doing, no, it wasn't, they, they were doing like a TPD consulting and they sponsored the vlog. The vlog has no uh, official sponsor. Yeah, it is. It's meant for e-liquid. It's meant for e-liquid. You read the website, Drip Theory. It says, drip your favorite flavoring, tincture, extract, etc., onto this pouch or desired until almost saturated. On the website, all it is is pictures of e-liquid bottles pouring on here. Pouring on here. That's all it is. E-liquid bottles pouring on here. And then they're kind of like, Use this for e-liquid, but also if you have a tincture or like a cannabis extract tincture, you could put it in here as well. 
but I do believe it's meant for e-liquid. Now, if this vlog had a sponsor, it would be Eric. It would be this. It would be Eric Deep Cuts Vinyl and Vapor Mixtape Guava Jelly. I mean, this is a legacy liquid. I, I want to vape this liquid for the rest of my life. And I tear through it so fast that it's it's not even funny. It's not funny. It's not comedic in any way how quickly I tear through this liquid. And I feel bad. I'm constantly hitting up Eric. Deep cuts. This vlog is for now and forever sponsored by Deep Cuts e-liquid. Deep Cuts Guava Jelly specifically because it's it's my legacy. It's like every every mouth to lung thing that exists is guava jelly. These are all guava jelly. K-Fun, guava jelly. Air, guava jelly. Every pod, every MTL, anything, guava jelly. Guava jelly, guava jelly. Put it in there. Put it in everything. Put it in my face. I, I, I love it. You think three milligram in the pouch would be plenty, Gunny? I went with uh, 18. Yeah, I, I mean, I, th I think I oversaturated it. I think I oversaturated it. So what I'm going to do is get some trash out of my trash can. I'm just going to, you know. Now that you tell me that see that looks like a pouch. That looks like a pouch. That looks like a wet. That looks like a moist snooze pouch. It might be too much. Should I give it a try? Should I give it a try? Adam, breeze times. Stay strong, Adam. Stay strong. Stay strong. Look, I got some uh, empty nicotine pouches that I can put my own liquid in. Yeah, see, it's even like an e-liquid dripper bottle right there. It's the same thing. And uh, this is cherry cola. This could be bad, right? This could be bad. <sighs> Cheers. Let's try it. This is uh, soaked in 18 milligram. It might be too much. might be too much. Guinea pig green. Look, I feel like everything in my life has been leading to this moment. This is my nexus event right now, Drip Theory. This is my nexus event. It's tasty. It tastes good. We'll see. It might be too much. It might be too much. I'm going to vape with a pouch in. Way too much, Nick. We'll see. We'll see. The, here's the thing. No, it's a cherry cola pouch. It's a cherry cola pouch. The reason, ooh, that's good and tingly. The reason I like these, the reason I wanted these pouches to begin with is because I have a lot of salt nicotine that I just cannot vape, but I really like the flavors of it. This is one of them. This is one of them. The, the yuck salts, the wick salts, cherry cola, this stuff, bussin'. Sorry, I can't believe I said that so wrong. Busting. It is busting with deliciousness and I just can't vape it. So I figured... Maybe we could throw some of that into some pouches. Pouch it. Let's keep going. Oh, I can't open that one yet. I can't open that one yet. Wait for the Nick sweats. Yeah, it could also be happening right now. I don't feel like 18. Where did this come from? Did I order these? I don't think I ordered these. Unless I did send it. Uh, I don't know, but some snooze arrived. Speaking of pouches, cola lime. We got Clint. Clint. Cola lime in a number four strength. XR. 
This is a uh, general. This is slim. This has got to be uh, tobacco, right? No. Whoa. General doesn't have a flavor, but it smells like. Uh, I'm not saying this just because it's Swedish, but it smells like elderberries or lingonberries or something like that. So we got Clint. We got XR. We got another Clint. We got fresh lime, Clint. Oh, and we got a Velo pouch. We got a royal purple Velo pouch. Uh, yeah, pouches, dude. I love them. I use them a lot. I like pouches. I find them overly convenient, way too convenient. Every plane flight, every movie, every trip to a theme park, Disneyland and Knott's Berry Farm, pouches, pouches, pouches. Pouches all day long. They're just great. But what's funny is, Will! Will Boyles! Where you at, Will Boyles? I like that everybody's rooting against me like I'm in a cave because this is too much nicotine, and I don't think you realize you're watching the Grim Green YouTube right now, you know? I'm a pretty big fan, and the worst thing that's going to happen... <gasps> what is this? <gasps> Will! Will Boyles! Will Mother Truckin' Boyles! Thank you! I'm gonna send this back to you. I'm gonna have to send this back to you. I, I feel weird. I feel weird, but this is the coolest shit ever. This is one of my favorite mods in the history of mods, and Will Boyles had it in candy green. This is the old Asmodus Minikins. There was not a better palmable dual battery device than this. I loved this. It was Supernate? <coughs> Wait, where the hell is Supernate? Is Supernate in the chat? Supernate. Supernate. Are you not in the chat, Supernate? Oh, Supernate. Z Supernate. Hey, Supernate. I love you. Thank you for these pouches. Thank you, Supernate. Tobacco bergamot. Oh, I could see that. It has a interesting. It's like a little bit floral, I think. Yeah, it's like flowery. It's like flowery. Uh, Minikin. Minikin. This still is, was a good mod. And this is something I never got to try We'll do this on the fiddle. This is fiddle material. This is fiddle material right here. But this is a barrage RDA. A candy green barrage RDA that damn near matchy matches the shit out of this minikin. Will Boyles, I'm gonna can I, I this isn't for me, right, Will? I'm gonna I wanna send this back to you or at least pay you some sort of cash. Oh wait, he's got it wicked and built. Oh, he's got it wicked and built. And then the airflow. This is just fascinating to me because I never got to try this. I never got to try the barrage. Fascinating. Is it meant for dual coils? It's meant for single coils? Okay, there are tabs. Okay, it kind of goes together like I thought. Fascinating. Fascinating. I really don't want to take this build out of here. We're gonna we'll, we'll use this for a uh, we we'll use this for a retro. There, decision made. I won't build it, although I would like to build it. You know, I would like to build it. Oh, that's an Ashton Palmer original, Georgia boy. Palmer did a bunch of the uh, barrages. It's cool. It's a cool RDA. Okay, it does have a squonk pin, just not installed. Will Boyles, Will, Will, thank you. Will Boyles, thank you. You want to use it for the very random liquid tasting? We'll use it for the very random liquid tasting. We'll use it for the very random liquid tasting. And yes, phrasing, I was thinking the same thing. Besides the Patreon, we don't. I don't have any official sponsors, you know? I don't have any official sponsors. Grim, Conway Liddy, which is a great name, by the way. 
says, I stopped vaping in 2021. I vaped from 2015 to 2021. I'm still subscribed because you helped people like me. Much love. Ah, Conway. Thank you, man. Like, thank you for staying subscribed. I still appreciate the support, even though you don't vape anymore. I really like that means a lot to me, man. That really, that really means a lot to me. Let's use the barrage for the uh, very random liquid tasting. And thank you, Super Nate, for the pouches. For the pouches. Thank you for the pouches. I'm a pouchy guy, and I like pouches. This one's still okay. I don't think it was too much. Maybe it was too much. Maybe that's why I'm cranking through water right now. It's tasty. Whatever it is, it's tasty. But wait, there's more. You know I'm saving it for last. You know I'm saving it for last, Kaz. You know I am. And speaking of Asmodus. No, 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 Bubbles, I bought them. You buy them. Uh, I can't, I don't know if I can tell you the name of the website, but it they're fluid pouches. And I bought a, about a hundred of them, about a two pack, just because, I don't know, I really wanted to try it. I really wanted to like, I knew that there was going to be a lot of trial and error with like liquid strengths and maybe what I can and can't drip on it, things like that. I just knew that I wanted a lot of pouches and they were, they were not expensive at all. When you, when you're just ordering blank pouches with no, you know, nicotine or flavoring or anything in them, they're hella cheaper, hella cheaper. All right. Asmodus. We got a package from Asmodus. Speaking of the barrage, speaking of the Minikin two, Asmodus has now They're called blank bars. They're called blank bars. And I think, I think, no, that's, I think, oh no, these aren't the ones he had in, at, at Hall of Vape. Okay. Uh, Asmodus was at Hall of Vape and they were selling, uh, like build it yourself disposables where he had like, he got this huge shipment. Like he bought all of these blank disposables, completely blank disposables. And you could walk up to the booth and it was like five bucks or something. And you could pick an e-liquid and fill up the disposable with the e-liquid and then buy the disposable for like five bucks. And now you have a disposable that you filled with your own liquid. He was charging like $2 or something. It was ridiculous. And he was so stoked. He was so stoked. Whoa, wait, maybe there's some stuff in here I can't be showing you guys. It looks like there's some sort of like squonk in here. I don't know. I don't I'm not trying to What is this? Is this a pod? Is this a disposable? Yeah, okay. Okay, so it's coil head based. This one is coil head based. And it's like a little side by side. Coil head based, aluminum. It's got that minikin, you know, Asmodus. Oh, how old school is that? Throwback screen and it's a pod. And it's like a side by side pod and I have it came with coil heads and a new board. Tons of stuff for the inside. Okay. Okay. Okay, Eddie. Okay. And then there's the blank bar, which I believe, hopefully there's no QR codes on the screen, which I believe is a combination. It's like a pod system. It's not like a pod system. It is a pod system but it's kind of being marketed as a disposable, even though it's a pod system. It's the blank bar and it's supposed to be a disposable, you know, and function like a disposable, but it's refillable. So they basically just reinvented pod systems. 
those spokes, those spokes are long and they go way up into the pod. And then liquids, which I'm assuming are gonna be more disposably tasting. Look, we got guava obsession, peach cabana, green apple, aloe, diamond ice. Don't even know what diamond ice could be. Then those are replicated here. Diamond ice, minty vice, Asmodus. Asmodus is back, I guess, and I like it. I'm here for it. Probably won't set up a blank bar right now, but, you know, I got a whole YouTube channel where I review this stuff. Fascinating. Whenever a new coil head comes across my desk, like those G3s or those new Argus, I, I look forward to them. I want to chart. I want to... I want to try them. Uh, it looks like you could charge it. The blank bar, you mean? The blank bar is definitely chargeable. There is a uh, USB-C on the bottom. And that's it. Like, there's nothing else. There's a fill port on the front. This is really wedged in there hard. And there's some big spokes that go through the bottom. The bottom looks like it lights up rechargeable blank bar from Asmodus. Sick. Sick. Like vape stuff? All right. Uh, this is the last package. I had to save the best for last. It's the Kaz. It's the Kaz Kaz. It's a Kaz box. What? Bro, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, so cool stuff. Obviously, Bogan just reviewed one of these. It's the sturdy one. RBA. The one RBA you need. Stoked. I didn't watch uh, Sam's review, but I really wanted to try that. And, oh, we got a fucked up mod. Hell yeah. Hang on. I want to look at this real quick. What is this dot mod special collaboration with Sturdy Manufacturing Company? You know? Oh, baby. Whoa, mama. That's slick. That's real slick, man. That is real slick. I only like this because of sturdy, not because it's a dot mod. Oh, and it's really like engraved. Can you see the engravings? White on white engravings. Yeah, oh, kinda, oh, kinda. Heavily engraved. Big flat button, sturdy on one side, dot AIO. All right. Thank you, Kaz. Thank you kindly, Kaz. I love that. Is this sturdy for this? If so, genius, genius, genius. And then, oh, bruh, bruh. Thank you. So he's basically ensuring that I don't have any more dangle clacks. He got me a new audio interface. <laughs> he got me a new audio interface. Kaz, you're a hell of a guy. I don't know actually what this is made out of. can't open it either. I don't know what it's made out of. It's got a tank on the inside with a coil head of some sort. I don't know what it's made out of. It's nice. It feels real nice. The texture feels great. Texture feels great. Dude, Kaz, I'm so fucking stoked for that. Thank you. Thank you, Kaz. You're a hell of a guy.
Now this is so that I never have another dangle clack. Not never, but this is a much better audio interface. Sick. 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 All right. Fingers crossed. Focusrite audio interface. Yeah, I you know, I was never a, like a a sound guy or an audio nerd. I was a bass player and uh you know, I had a big Behringer cabinet, and, you know. I was never like about clarity of sound or uh high quality just cheap gear, turn it up loud. Cheap gear, turn it up. Whoa, what the hell? What the hell? Pumpkin coffee roll? Pumpkin coffee roll. We call, we call this one basic bitch. The pumpkin coffee roll. FDH pumpkin coffee roll. Concent What's this? What's this? Concentrated nicotine additive. Just Nick Pods. 40... 40, so it's 40 milligram? What? Add Nick Pod to any bottle of e liquid to increase its nicotine level. Oh, okay, I see. I see. I see. So they give you some math. So if you have a 60 mil of. If you have a 60 mil, you add one pod to get it to six and two pods to get it to 12. Oh, that's fascinating. Do not consume as is, must be added to e-liquid. Yeah, I, I kind of like that. I kind of like the idea of this. I've got some good liquids that I wanted to turn into uh, turn into 12 milligrams. You're a bass player too, Michael? Hell yeah. Listen, we got some battery wraps. Don't be a dick when you can be an asshole. Yes. <laughs> and... Dough nut, strawberry glazed donut. Dough nut, battery wraps, battery wraps. <laughs> battery wraps. What is this? What is this battery wrap makes no sense. What does it say? It says, fuck your feelings. And then there's a salt shaker on it. It says, fuck your feelings and a salt shaker on it. And, oh, coils. They call them short circuits. Short circuits, short circuits, three millimeter, 0.29, nichrome 80, set of coils. Damn, Kaz. You're becoming a one-stop shop, my man. You're becoming a one-stop shop, dude. Hell yeah, Kaz. Okay, I think that's all. Wait. Coils, Red's Artisan Coils. Are you kidding me? There's like a little scroll on the inside. Is that the story of the, is that the story of the coils, the quest of the coils? Look in the bag for a note. Ah. Freaking Kaz. This is the Kaz box. Uh, uh, in this Kaz box, I wanted to include something from both my passions of music and vape. Hopefully the music part of the box will help you. Uh, in the case of any dangle clacks, love you, bro. Hope you enjoy. P.S. Everything is new and opened. Uh, I wanted you to have the full experience. Thank Kaz. Thank you. Seriously, this is a stellar Kaz box. This is a stellar Kaz box. I mean... Not not just the sturdy, not just the coils, not just the liquid. It's the it's it's the love behind it, you know, Kaz. I feel the love behind it, and it, it's very appreciated. And hell, Kaz could become a sponsor of the vlog if this audio interface works, and there's no more dangle clacks. Audio audio quality brought to you by Kaz. Audio quality brought to you by Kaz. Hell yeah, Kaz. Hell yeah, Kaz. I'm honored to even just know you. I'm glad our paths crossed. 
the pouch seems okay. The pouch seems okay. I don't I don't feel sweaty or nauseous or sick or anything. Might have some uh You need to talk to Kaz, Andrew M. You need to talk to Kaz, the Kaz man. He knows where you can get them. <laughs> he knows where you can get them. Let's uh Yeah. Yep, I'm glad we blazed through that news chunk. I'm glad we brazed through that news chunk because now we're going to start winding it down, but we're going to sing happy birthday. It's time for the button to come off. Maybe the nicotine pouch is affecting me. Let's sing happy birthday to the happy birthday people, please. Let's sing happy birthday to the happy birthday people, please. I think I got most everybody. You need to try the Aspire Real X pod system. I'll, I'm going to try Forsaken. I'm going to try. I, I want to try like every pod, every pod that comes out. I want to try it and I want to rank it. I want to compare it to every other pod I've ever tried. That's like my mission in life is to torture test pods. I hate that. I can't stand. This is one of the reasons I started doing pod rankings and started like really doing longevity coil heads for pods because I'm not throwing shade. But there's a little too many people on the internet who do unboxing reviews where maybe something like, oh, uh, Nevox Feeling AX arrives. And then they open the box and they fill it up and they vape it a few times and then they give a review. And I'm like, what are you doing? How do you even do that? How? Do, how? How is that even possible? You didn't use it long enough. You didn't use it long enough. How? How can you, how can you judge it? You can't. Can't can't you got to spend time you got to be dead you got to spend time with a coil you got to really get to know it get to know the nuance of it so that's why i started doing really long-term pod reviews really long-term pod reviews okay guys well we're gonna sing happy birthday that's right We're singing happy birthday to Simon B, Jay Blaze, and Marley, Drip Theory, and Mike's mom, Charlotte. Mike's mom, Charlotte. <laughs> Michael Redfern's birthday is on Wednesday? How is that going to get slipped by? Thank you, Addie Tooney, for sh shouting that out there, Michael Redfern. Hmm. Happy birthday. Huh. Let's sing. Happy birthday, everybody. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to them. Happy birthday, dear Simon B. And J. Blaze and marley and drip theory and mike's mom charlotte and michael redfern and an advocate for liberty tim happy birthday did we get him last week and tim an advocate for liberty happy birthday to Skip around the room. Skip around the room. You know what to do. You skip around the room. Skip around the room. Skip around the room. Michael Red Fern skipping around the room. Michael Red Fern is skipping around the room. <laughs> skip around the room. Freaking happy birthday. Woo! Happy birthday, you guys. Simon B, J Blaze, Marley, Drip Theory, Mike's mom, Charlotte, and Mother Truck and Michael Red Fern, and, and Tim the advocate for liberty. I hope you're all just skipping, just skipping around the room till your pants fall off, you know? Circle pit, drip theory, circle pit. Circle pit, shirts off, Shirt, <laughs> circle pit. Shirts off in the pit, shirts off in the pit. In fact, actually, let's, let's 
let's see. I'm uh, checking on the super chats real quick before we get into any uh, super, super random liquid tastings. You can skip. You can skip even if it's not your birthday. You can, you can totally skip. You skip whenever you want. There's no. It's not illegal. You can skip wherever you want. You can frolic. You can skip. You can mosey. You can do whatever you want. There's no laws. People tell you, yeah, you can't mosey here. You say, oh, I can mosey. I can mosey wherever I want. You don't want me to mosey? I'll skip. You don't want me to skip? I'll frolic. There's different ways to get around. You don't just have to walk. Um, Kennedy. Uh, Kennedy says, this gal had a bad couple of days. Relief to be here. Thank you. Oh, Kennedy, I I'm happy to be whatever relief I can possibly be for bad days. I don't, I don't, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't like bad days. That's, that's a bummer. This too shall pass, Kennedy. This too shall pass. You won't even remember the bad days once you're past them. Susan, late again. Appreciate you. Susan, appreciate you. Appreciate that super chat. There's no obligation, but thank you so much. I hope you've been enjoying yourself. Rock truck. Uh, saving HHS $500 million won't go into the right pockets. Ah, raw chuck. You get it, man. Hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> saving the HHS $500 million is not the same as earning, raising $500 million that you can just, you get some, you get some, maybe we'll put some into a slush fund where nobody knows where it gets spent. Some will go into your pockets, some will go into your pockets, some will go into your pockets. What's that? You guys are smoking cigarettes? Oh, well. Oh, well. Have you seen my pockets? They're exploding with $500 million. It's crazy. Appreciate you, Rachuk. The janitor says, uh, the thing the thumbs up button is broken. I think the thumbs up broken is button is broken. <laughs> I've been trying the whole time to get all of these viewers to smash that mother trucker. Come on, people. Jeez. Yeah, janitor. I mean, look, there's no, you're not obligated to hit the like button, but I appreciate it. And I like it. And it makes me happy. And it makes, it makes vapors happy around the world. And most of all, if you can take tiptoe, you can tiptoe. You can tiptoe through the tulips. No one can stop you. Sauntering, uh, look, yeah, flits on you. I can kind of agree with that. Sauntering is a little bit sliding, I could see. You know, sidling, I could even see. Yeah, meandering, well, meandering. Look, there's no law against meandering. You know, that, I'm going to leave that up to society. If people want to meander, who am I to judge meanderers, you know? I'm not, I can't tell a meanderer from a mosier. <laughs> I can't tell, you know, anyway. So just let them, if you mosey, hit the like button. If you meander, hit the like button. If you skip, if you frolic, if you cartwheel, if you jazzercise, if you, yeah, aerobics, you can aerobics through the park. Vibes, Connor, what type of juice do you recommend for the cross pod, one ohm pod? Anything that is a 50-50 mix. Those are going to rule in all pods if it's a 50-50 mix. PGVG, 50-50, honestly, you'll be golden. I personally, Vibes Connor, don't love salt nicotine, it, especially inside pods. It just hits me weird. The salt nick in my pouch, which is still fine, by the way, might be a little bit strong, but tough. Dang, I'm tougher than nicotine. Um. I go free base, non-salt nicotine every single time. I just appreciate, I like the throat hit a little bit more. I go 12 milligram, 50-50 choice. In fact, this right here, okay, no, this is the 0.8. This is the 0.8. I got that liquid in there. The 0.8. That throat hit, it even takes me by surprise a little bit if I haven't been vaping. Hope that's helpful. Hope that's helpful for you, Connor. Chase. Uh, fish rate. <laughs> appreciate you. Hey, Chase. Appreciate you, pimp. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. No time to say full words here. We, we shorten everything. <laughs> appreciate you. Will Boyles. Speaking of people, I appreciate. Will Boyles. Appreciate. Yeah, I saw that RDA in the box was signed by Thesis. 
himself. Is Thesis still a... Still around? I haven't seen his Instagram. I haven't seen his YouTube. I haven't. Uh, I haven't heard from Thesis in a while. I miss that guy. I like that guy. He was a good guy. I liked his voice. He had a good, like he had that like uh, Jay Hazy garbly voice that I like. He had that in spades. Thesis was a boss. Fishy, very gracious of you, Fishy. All the love to the army. Nick, I can never thank you enough for your continued hard work and education regarding all things vape. We did the hard work switching, but you've given us the knowledge. Oh, fishy. <laughs> thank you. I mean, thank you. That's, thank you. That means a lot to me. That's my whole, my whole goal, fishy. <laughs> you know this, my whole goal. We got to get, we got to eradicate smoking, man. We got to eradicate smoking. And, and, and vaping's gonna do it. And I believe that. And I can't not, I can't not, I can't not. It's, it's a labor of love, Fishy. It's a labor of love. And I appreciate you, Fishy. You want me to give you a super chat? Fishy, thank you for all the support over the years. Thank you for being a stand up dude. Appreciate all of your insight and, you know, chatting about music and all your jokes and more seat belt. And I appreciate you, Fishy. I hope you're having a great day. QHB with the triple hearts. If I could make hearts appear out of my hands, I definitely would for you, QHB. Super Nate. Oh, I said it in the normal chat and missed it, but you threatened to start reviewing snus and nicotine pouches. Time to put your money where your mouth is. Let's go, Super Nate. Let's go. I'll review these. I'll review. I can't see. This is foreign to me. This is a, this is a different world. It, is it like one per video, like one pouch per video? Or do I use it first? I think I'll treat it like a pod review, honestly. I think I'll try to like treat it like a pod review. I'll introduce it. I'll say this is uh, Clint Cola Lime and strength number four. Uh, and I'll try it, smell it, give some descriptions, and I'll say I'll be back. I'll see you at a later date and let you know how it went with the Clint. And I'll come back, talk about it, good, bad, too strong, too weak. The flavor gets weird. The flavor gets gross, something like that. I think that could be beneficial for snooze people. I'm trying to think about what I would want to see someone talk about if I was watching a review for snooze. So that's where we're going to go. Appreciate you, Super Nate. Appreciate you a ton. Georgia Boy Gaming. Hey, Georgia Boy. Hey, hey, Nick. Hey, love you, bro. Look forward to Thursdays. Have made my past three weeks better. I, I'm, I, I'm glad, Georgia Boy. I'm happy to help you out literally in any way that I can, you know? I wanna help you day. I wanna help your day. And then we got one more from Kaz Kaz before we get to a very random liquid tasting. I love everyone. You know what? I love everything too. I love everyone. I'm sorry if you're experiencing buffering, but I keep getting these errors and warnings and I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. I can't change it right now. It keeps giving me warnings. It keeps giving me warnings. And this is how the stream got destroyed last time. This is how the stream got annihilated last time. So um, I think there was a poll in the chat right now. And it looks like Juicehead won. Yes. Okay. So Juicehead will be moving on to the final round. Yeah. Georgia Boys. Georgia Boys good people. Georgia Boys top notch. I, there's not, I, I can't say, I would never, I, I couldn't, I couldn't say anything bad about anybody uh, in my Patreon. Everybody's dope as shit, like to the bone, dope as shit. Miss Bagpipes over there on Hella Chats. Don't forget the, fan, the, the band fundraiser for my niece charity. Link is in your Twitter. Yes. And I believe it's also on my last blog. So I'm going to go grab it from there. Maybe. No, it's not. Is it really not in the last vlog? Oh my good God, I hate technology. Stop it. Go away.
And let's see. I think it is here. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'll get that in there, Barbara. Oh my fucking God. You know that thing that my Apple Mac loves to do where it's like every, it seems like it's happening like every 15 or 20 minutes now, everything Bluetooth disconnects and then I have to sit and wait for the mouse to connect again and the keyboard to connect again and the trackpad to connect again and all these things to connect again. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just waiting for my mouse to connect. Just one more second, should be fine. I'm gonna try to track down this link, Barbara, I promise. Hey, it's moving. All right. Is the keyboard working? Yeah. Oh, it's in my notifications, though. That's going to be tough, Barbara. Track this down again. Oh, here it is. Trying to raise $500 by March 31st for a senior band trip for my niece. Here's the link in the chat. I'll put the link in the description. If anybody wants to help out, good old Barbara in the chat, my cousin. She's been here for years. She's been here for years. Uh, maybe the least we could do is throw her a couple bucks to uh, to help get this high school band on a band trip. It's hard not to. It's hard to. How do you say no? How do you say no? You know, uh, Sunday night drunk. This ain't my first Mac. I've had two. I've had three MacBooks. I've had two iMacs, and this is my first Mac Studio. And the Mac Studio is the only. Mac that I've had the Bluetooth disconnecting issue with. Other issues with other Macs, but the the Bluetooth disconnecting about every 20 minutes is unique to this Mac Studio, and it doesn't get fixed with any software updates. I was like, oh, we're getting a new update. Rad. Do it. Install it. No. Nope. Oh, it still disconnects the Bluetooth. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I was hoping it wouldn't. Turns out it still does. Oh, okay. So, yeah. That's the problems. That's the, I've only had that problem with this. I've only had that problem with this. Well, yeah, I mean, we can argue about Apple and PC all day long. It's whatever. You, no one's going to ever convince me otherwise. <laughs> you can't. You can't because I used... Uh, I used... Oh, okay, well, this is going to be a four. This is going to be a four one. This is going to be a four one. Let me, type, let me start typing this poll in the chat. I used a PC, a personal computer. Uh, I had a HP desktop and laptop that I used for a long time during Grim Green. And then I got, uh, there was a subscriber that I met who was like, hey, I can build you a PC. And I thought, oh, that's rad. Let's do that. And so, you know, I gave him money for parts and he put this custom PC together for me and it was rad and I used it all of 2014, all of 2015, all of 2016 to the very end of 2016 when I got my first iMac. And going from this custom-built PC that I loved that was fast and it was good to a Mac, it's not even close. It was like, it felt like a leap forward in technology, like a leap forward in everything. All the editing software is better. The, the PC, the computer itself the, the ecosystem that it creates where if I got out my iMac right now and I just plugged it in and I put it on my desk, they would just recognize each other and go, oh, this is another Mac. We can communicate. And I can just use this mouse and keyboard on, an, on my other computer and I could drag files from one PC to another just by magic, like through the air. They'll just recognize each other and go, oh, you're an Apple, we're friends. We can exchange information and data really quickly. It's it's amazing. Like the ecosystem is amazing. And that's why I don't think uh, people could convince me otherwise. Did not mean to talk about Mac that long. Oh, Casey texted me. Okay, random liquid tasting. Okay. Okay.
Okay. See, here's the thing. I have a feeling that I know what's going to win this. I just have a feeling I know what's going to win this. There's a poll in the chat. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote. But here's what's up. The Berg. The Berg is up. You can vote for the Berg and menthol. Been dying to try that. Fluid Onyx. So this is menthol black licorice. So we're just punishing ourselves tonight. Then we could do Luscious's apple pie crumble. That's an option. Apple pie crumble. That's an option. And then lastly, it's the juice head. It's coming back for like the ninth round. It's juice head blueberry lemon, you know. It's just juice head blueberry lemon. It's been up here for like six years now. And I never got to vape it. Rip says, I had a MacBook Pro, upgraded the shit out of it, and it was faster than my mate's top-of-the-line PC, even though the processor was less powerful. It performed way better. Yeah, Macs do that because of the operating system. Mac operating systems take advantage of their hardware and utilize the hardware in a really efficient way. A really efficient way. Dale says, I went from my entry-level Windows system to a top-of-the-line MacBook, and it was so much faster. I went from a Volkswagen Bug to a McLaren. Yeah, that's kind of what it felt like. It felt like I was going from, like, the Flintstones car to, like, you know, a Maserati or something. Like, it was unbelievable difference. Unbelievable difference. And I already had an iPhone at the time. And so when I get my first iMac, I power it up. I'm doing stuff. It's like, hey, we noticed there's a phone sitting by. Do you want to interact with it at all? Like, do you want to trust this phone? I'm like, yeah, trust the phone. So now my phone will just connect to my Mac. I could do whatever I want. It's great. It's great. The Berg is the worst juice in history. Ray Ray, throwing shade at the Berg. Well, I've heard from people that it's good. And I've also heard from other people that it's bad. And I've also heard from other people that there's no voting music. So please vote. Let's check out. I kind of knew that was going to happen. I kind of knew that the Luscious was going to take an, a really early lead. That's okay. It's okay, Brenton. Brenton, you're never late. Brenton arrives precisely when he intends. Linux? Yeah, people have been trying to sell me on Linux for a really long time. People have been trying to sell me on Linux for a, re like a hyper long time. Too long. Too long of a time, honestly. Let's be real. Linux. Linux, Linux, Linux. I'm like, here's the thing. No, I don't want that. I want a pod system. I don't want a, a quad coil RTA. And that's how uh, Linux feels to me is like I would be using a quad coil RTA every time I wanted to vape when really I just want something simple that doesn't take a lot of effort that I can just turn on and everything I plug into it works. All my phones and computers work with it. Everything I have works with it. My DSLRs work with it. It's just super simple, super easy. It's like opening up a pod and filling it up and then just vaping it instead of, oh, you have to build your I, you know, I don't think I can handle Linux, Ben D. Honestly, that is a big thing for me. I don't know that I, I don't have all the room in my brain that I used to. You know, I feel like Homer Simpson, when new information comes in, old stuff gets pushed out. You know, if I got a Linux, I'd forget how to drive. It would just happen. It would be too much. <laughs> it would be too much. Maybe you could have sold me on Linux like, I don't know. 20 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, when I was all about every new little piece of tech that came out and I wanted to customize everything and like, you know, I jailbroke my iPhone, literally every, every upgrade I would jailbreak my iPhone so that I could run all the weird programs and run all the themes and I used to be all about it. But now, I don't have time. Who has time for that? <laughs> I just don't have time. Yep, I got a, I, yeah, I have a MacBook Pro, I have a, iPad, I have an iPhone, I have the Apple Watch, I have a Mac Studio, I have an Apple TV. Everything works together just perfectly. You don't need to drive. <laughs> Someday, I hopefully won't have to. Someday, hopefully, I can just get on trains and just be whisked around the country on a train. That would be the dream. 
That would be the dream. How's the voting going? Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Luscious apple pie crumble. I know. Yep, 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 yep. I'm going to start getting out Nick shots for the luscious apple pie crumble because it needs to be nicked for sure. Well, I'll keep the voting open for just a little bit. Maybe 10% more people could vote for uh, blueberry lemon. That's okay. Look, this is a democracy here. I don't... I'm not going to exert executive authority and just vape whatever I want. I'm not just going to ban TikTok. <laughs> the TikTok ban is probably the dumbest thing I've read all day. The TikTok ban is probably the single dumbest thing I have read all day. It's really bad. It's a really bad thing. This this TikTok ban cannot pass. It's just a, it's just a, an open door for surveillance, for like mass surveillance. Like this is worse than the Patriot Act. This is like Patriot Act version 1.5, version 2.5. It's bananas, this, this TikTok ban. It's unreal. And like, look, there's some fishy things with it too. It's interesting that we can suddenly get Congress to come together really quickly within the span of like a day and then all agree on something. Like 80% of Congress voted in favor of a TikTok ban. Meanwhile, we have bills that just sit for years and years and like nothing gets debated and we have to jam everything into these big omnibus bills that are, you know, 8,000 pages long that nobody reads, but somehow, we got all of Congress to come together to ban TikTok. Just like a, like a miracle, just like a miracle. And they're demanding TikTok be sold. They don't want to ban TikTok. They just don't like the idea of China owning TikTok. And so they want to force TikTok to sell the company to somebody else. Well, who would they sell it to? Well, wouldn't you know that some of our very own government officials are putting together a group to put in a bid to buy TikTok. So the federal government doesn't want TikTok spying on you. They want to spy on you. They're worried about China spying. They want TikTok. They want TikTok to spy on you. I know, I know, I know. And look, it's politics. I'm not being partisan. I just find it astonishing, astonishing that Congress can come together so quickly and so unanimously to really take care of TikTok. Meanwhile, <laughs> what else has got accomplished? Literally zero, literally nothing. Anytime they agree, anytime they agree, uh, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> exactly, Ben D, 100%. If you can get both sides to come together really quickly to ban something, hmm, makes you wonder why can't sides come together to literally compromise on literally anything else? No, just to ban TikTok. Okay, let's go. Let's vape some liquids. Apple pie crumble is the winner. We knew that, I knew that this was gonna happen. I knew that this was gonna happen. I thought Onyx might take it, but I had a feeling that uh, the apple pie crumble. All right, well, away you bottles go to wait for an audience of less discriminating tastes. Let's get some, uh, some of my favorite things in here. I mean, yeah, I don't, I mean, fuck TikTok, sure, but don't ban it. It's like, fuck cigarettes, but don't ban it. I mean, and it doesn't take a lot to, anyway, I'm going to keep that to myself. It doesn't take a lot to see that people are getting their news from TikTok, and that threatens things like legacy media and government messaging. This is just, that's just reality. Ha! Ah, I got the sickest pro tip. That's a sick pro tip. Okay, nicotine. In the bottle. In the bottle, Grim Green. In the bottle. This apple pie crumble, I can smell it from here. It smells delightful. Holy cow smells delightful. Genius. That tool's genius tool. Oh, shit. I'm going to need to stock up on Nick shots before the uh, UK tax happens. It's, cr you know, and it, it's one of those things in the UK. It's like, we did this in the US, and we do it in the UK, 
okay? Like, does banning something or taxing it out of existence, does that decrease the demand for it? I've never known that to be true. I've never known that to be true. If you ban something, they, you know, people just assume that's like, oh, we're gonna ban disposables. They just assume that like youth are now going to go, oh, well, there's a disposable ban. I'm just going to go lead a perfect and virtuous life now. Never going to experiment with anything else that could be bad for me ever. It's it's not reality. It's not reality. Yep, dank tugboat. Yep. Can't censor it if they don't own it. Yeah, but I mean, anything is like that though. You can't, I mean, anything is like that. Everything is like that. Any in everything influences everybody. CNN and MSNBC and Fox News and legacy media, they are influencing young, uh, you know, uh, influenceable voters. TikTok does the same thing. YouTube does the same thing. Mac, uh, Twitter does the same thing. And you know, it's it's see, I don't buy that argument so much because. When the printing press came out, when the printing press was released, they made the same arguments about the printing press that they make about TikTok. Oh, it's disinformation and misinformation and people getting the wrong information. They said this about the printing press. When the printing press existed, everybody just started printing all sorts of nonsense, all sorts of lies and wrong shit and fake news because now everybody had the printing press and everybody could print anything. So we already have been through this. We've already been through misinformation, disinformation, influencing people. Everybody influences somebody. Other people influence other people. The printing press, the newspaper will influence you, will influence voters. Hang on. I wasn't making eye contact and I wasn't shaking it nearly enough because I got sidetracked by freaking stupid politics. And they're really stupid, but super important. Can't! Can't! Let's get the Kent graphic out here. Oh wait, we didn't do the we didn't do uh, Kent's AI art. Oh okay, we have to do that next week. We're gonna have to do it next week. We can whip through it while I'm tasting this. How about that? Oh yeah, yeah. Fuck all censorship. Fuck censorship. Yeah, where's my seatbelt? There it is. There's the Kent graphic. More seatbelt right next to the vlog, and then we'll put Childs up there too, just for fun. Okay, now I'm gonna pause the seventh floor tango here. And uh, we didn't do any AI art. I can't believe that <laughs> flits on you. I'm influenced by candy. That's like the meme I posted on Instagram the other day where you know, it's poorly drawn lines and it's a little frame of a bird saying, it takes a lot to change my mind. And then the other bird says, no, it doesn't. And then the other bird says, actually, yeah, you're right. That's how I feel. That's how I feel with just the world in general. Like, well, it takes a lot to change my mind. That's not true. Actually, you're right. People's minds get changed real quickly. And honestly, none of it matters. TikTok doesn't matter. And Facebook doesn't matter. And this doesn't matter. And Twitter doesn't matter. Because all we really need to do is encourage people and teach them to think critically. Because then bullshit can be on TikTok. And, and if you think critically, you go, oh, that's bullshit. That's the skill. We can have all sorts of misinformation, disinformation, wherever we want. People just need to think critically. Yeah, mix and juice manually. Yeah, we got to do AI art. 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 Okay, we're going to pause the liquid tasting right now <laughs> to do some uh, AI art. The dogs are hanging out. They want to go outside. Schmurphy's just bored. He's been bored all day. I feel bad. Let's knuckle this. Okay, uh, I'm gonna spit out this pouch just for nicotine purposes, but I don't think it was too much at all. I liked it. And it still has, it still has flavor. It still tastes like cherry cola. Wow, wow, that's kind of impressive. kind of impressive there. What are you making fun of my goatee? You making fun of my goatee? You can't make fun of my goatee? Don't make fun of my goatee. 
That's not it, Nick. It's because the U.S. government can't control censor TikTok like they do with Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Twitter. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's why. Yeah. There's a, yeah. I had a meme for this. <laughs> I had a meme for this. It was a Simpsons meme that was really funny. And I posted it on my Instagram, but let's see. Shit, let's see if I can find it real quick. It was really funny. Ah. Uh, okay, I'm not going to be able to find it. I thought it was in my camera roll. Turns out it's not. Oh, maybe it is. No, okay, it's not. Thought it was. Turns out it's not. But yeah, that's... I mean, this is like... It's 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 the Patriot Act 2.0. That's what this is. It's, it's, it's terrifying. <laughs> it's terrifying, honestly. And it's, you know, it people just being misinformed, disinformed the same way that, um, you know, they get with vaping. It's the same way they get with vaping. Once you hear, oh, kids died from vaping, that's what you're going to carry with you forever. Every time you see vaping, harm reduction, e-cigarettes, nicotine, it doesn't matter because you're viewing it through the lens of this is bad and it, you know, and it hurts children. This is bad and it hurts children. And, you know, when people and politicians can't really do this, and I don't know why they try, but it's like they have a very, very, very surface level understanding of it. You know, it's like watching Zuck in front of Congress and, you know, Rashida Tlaib is asking him, do you have the algorithm with you? Did you bring the algorithm? And Mark Zuckerberg is just looking at her like, what? That's not, that's not how this works. Like if you're not going to bother having more than a surface level understanding of things, then I don't think you get to ask Mark Zuckerberg like, where's the algorithm? Did you bring the algorithm with you? Yeah, that's because that's how this works. This is the people we're trusting to legislate technology and artificial intelligence. And they asked Mark Zuckerberg to bring the algorithm with him. Okay. Okay. Woo. Okay. Yeah. If anything, it made me foo tang. Yeah. Full tang wang. It made me want to, it made me want to use TikTok way more. <laughs> made me want to use TikTok immediately way more. Immediately way more. Well, you know, this is a lot of, uh, you know, these are old school ideals. This is controlling the flow of information, you know? Uh, I loaded this up into an Ocula RDA on the Cthulhu, or sorry, the Cthyla from Death Wish, just because I haven't had this out in a minute and I missed this big button. Wicked up the Ocula. Let's taste this uh, apple. Is this battery just stupid ass? Probably. Let's get a non stupid ass battery. How about that? Um, but before I taste this, we're going to do AIR. I'm going to try to end this stream uh, in the next 15 minutes. That's the, that's the plan. Okay, so now we got that loaded up. I'll just let it steep in the uh, <laughs> RDA there for a second. <laughs> uh, yeah, listen, Phil, that's a, that's a lofty goal. Forgot to mention I relapsed the 11th, picked up a disposable. Tomorrow I'm going another month off nicotine, and I'm putting my foot down this time. I don't need Nick anymore, damn it. Listen, you do you. I believe in you. You can conquer this, Phil. And if not, you know. It's like the worst thing that's going to happen is like you'll consume some nicotine. Yeah, but you can't. But that's not the question she asked. She didn't ask for, do you have any documents related to the algorithm? She asked the dumbest question in the history of dumb questions, which is, did you bring the algorithm with you? And he just looked at her like she was a psychopath. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. It's not how any of this works. That's not how any of this works. It's bananas. Other than, uh, you know, other than our, than our new hero, my new political crush, Savannah Maddox, uh, there's not a politician. Maybe if Justin Amash runs in, in, in uh, maybe if Justin Amash runs, 
Okay, it's hitting. Okay, maybe there's just a little ramp up time. Okay, before I taste that, we got to do Kent's AI art. We got to do Kent's AI art because it's really funny. It's really good. In fact, we're going to start off with Nick's AI art. Huh? How about that? I've been fooling around. Yeah, just exactly. Exactly, Apathy Miller. When that other congresswoman was talking about how her son started vaping because he wanted to be cool, and then they found popcorn in his lungs. And he said, wait, popcorn in his lungs? And she doubled down. She's like, yes, popcorn was in his lungs. And I thought, you, you, you don't get this at all. You don't get this uh, even, a, uh, even a little bit. That's crazy. All right, Kent's AI art. And we're starting off with my AI art because I've been dabbling. I've been dabbling with some AI. Uh, I've been trying to use it for Grim Green related purposes. And so the prompt that I gave was for uh, something like a photorealistic uh, legs from the knees down. Uh, wearing shoes and the shoe is smushing out like a cigarette. I wanted the shoe to be stepping on a cigarette and putting it out. All I could get were shoes. All I could get were shoes. Occasionally the shoes would be up like this, like there might be a cigarette underneath. No, could only get shoes, could not get them, could not get a cigarette. And so I started trying to describe the cigarette. I was like, okay, under the shoe, put a white cylinder, like I'm trying to describe what a cigarette looks like, so maybe it would draw it in there. No, all I got were shoes. I have like 80 pictures of just shoes. These same Nikes over and over and over and over again, just shoes. This one, I don't wanna talk about that one. This one <laughs> was, I was trying to portray uh, tobacco controllers. I was trying to portray tobacco controllers um, being in love with cigarettes and having like cigarettes growing out of their brains and growing out of their eyeballs. Um, this is what I got. This guy that doesn't make much sense. He's just got a cigarette finger. It's weird. This one, he just had big cigarettes growing out of his head, giant cigarettes, blunts growing out of it, <laughs> growing out of his head. So that wasn't quite it. This one too, just an old tobacco controller guy with a giant cigarette attached to his bottom lip. Nothing I could use, you know, nothing I could use. Interesting, <laughs> interesting. Looks like a very old Brian Cranston. Interesting, but nothing I could really use. And then the last one I did, I just like it. I don't even remember what the prompt was. I just like this. I don't know why. I just like that. Those, that's the only thing with AI art that I've ever been proud of. I was like, hey, that looks pretty cool. I like old timey TV with a little guy in there. I don't know. I like it. But now, okay, here, let's move on to Kentithy. Kent, who's the real, who's the real star of the show, the real AI guy. Uh, and I and I'm having a was it two left feet? No, that's not. Is that two left feet? Is my brain broken? Oh, that is two left feet. Whoa, what an optical illusion. Optical illusion. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, it's album art, right? Like I could release a, an indie album and use this as the album cover. And I could name the album Fiseno, just like it says on the TV, Fiseno. Okay. We're going to do Kent now. And Kent, look, I've been trying to get Kent to do AI art for the vlog every week, but sometimes... He doesn't have time or, you know, he doesn't, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know exactly his words, but he said something along the lines of um, it's not really worth it for me. Uh, yeah, I there's I don't need to entertain your vlog guests, something like that. Your viewers. He seemed a little uppity about it. He said, uh, it's just a huge waste of my time to do that for you. And it doesn't even really help me very much. Something along those lines. Of course, I'm embellishing, um, but we're superheroes this week. Kent turned us all into superheroes. Turned the squad into superheroes. I don't know what superhero that is that looks almost exactly like me, though. Like, that is alternate reality, Grim Green, and I'm standing on your lawn. Maybe I'm knocking. 
because I'm um, trying to, you know, preach at you, preach, preach the Lord at you. Maybe that's what's happening. Um, I'm a little chubbier, I guess, in real life than I am in that picture. But like even the shreddy jeans, the little air, the little, the little uh, shoes there, those vans. I've never worn like a spiky bullet belt before, but I could and tuck in my shirt. I could do both of those things. I could do both of those things. This one, great, Beecher. <laughs> I have no idea what he's doing. I can't tell you. There's like a chain hanging down. He's dressed like a lounge singer, like he's sitting behind a piano. My chemical Nick. <laughs> I do. Do I look a little bit short there? I do. I feel like I look a little bit squatty in that picture. I look a little bit squatty. Yeah, I did lose my uh, the trooper. I lost Stuart the trooper. Mm, it's okay. Still looks pretty good. Beecher. I don't know what the hell's going on with Beecher there. That's exactly what I'm doing, Mike Redfern. Can you spare just a few minutes to talk about our Lord and Savior? Kent. Kent's the best one. That's the best one. That's the best janky superhero that exists. <laughs> I love this so much. The cape and the utility belt. Then it just looks like, you know, like your buddy in middle school. You're like, hey, take a picture of me. I look really cool. <laughs> You know, like, you get the pictures back and you're like, you don't, you, you don't. Now this one, Eric just looks like Eric. It doesn't even look a little bit artificial. It just looks like Eric flexing. Like Eric came over to help you install a toilet main or something. And this is just like a candid picture. <laughs> looks like Adam Savage on his way to ECC. <laughs> I think I don't I can't decide who won this. It might be Turk because I don't know what this is. And this is just is so great. He again, like me, it looks like he's in front of your house and he wants to tell you something, but it looks like Turk's trying to sell you like a cutting board with fish on it. But it's a podium too. <laughs> yeah, he's holding a paddle. Eric's holding a paddle, like a, like a, you know, I can't think of the game, you know, like a giant beach ball paddle thing, giant, giant ping pong, just playing some giant ass ping pong, Turk wearing a suit of armor, get out of there, wearing a suit of armor, wearing a cloak, selling you the fish cutting board, you know, <laughs> That's too funny. Okay, then the last one, I'll be, I think this one wins. That's Dwayne, you know. I don't know exactly what he's trying to sell you. He's like, hey, don't you want to buy this yellow thing? Don't you want to buy my big scrubby brush? I got a side piece. I got a taser on the side of my hip. <laughs> a spiky belt. He looks like the singer of a hardcore band. That's the thing. He looks like, a, like, he, like he's the new guitar player in Five Finger Death Punch. That's what Dwayne looks like to me. <laughs> oh pickleball yeah pickleball pickleball beecher looks like eastbound and down beecher kind of looks like a lounge singer to me i think my favorite is kent kent and Dwayne win this one kent and Dwayne and, and turk win this one beecher and i you know i don't know what's that what's going on over there but these guys they win this picture of kent is creepy because it looks so real like the his face, the lighting on his hair, it just looks so super real. Just looks so super real. We were LARPing. <laughs> we're LARPing. And then TV guy. Okay. Thank you, Kent. You know, I love these. I love seeing your your AI art that you do of us, and I appreciate it. And even if they're bad, still send them over. You know, I want to see them. I, I want to see even the bad ones. I know three of you had the prompts. He made all of you grade schoolers pretending to be superheroes at a birthday party. I mean, that all tracks except for Eric playing giant paddle ball. That all tracks. And then Turk trying to sell you. Now where'd Turk go? Trying to sell you the fish. There. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Hey, excuse me. Have you seen this fish cutting board? Have you seen it? It's pretty dope. 
You seen this fish cutting board? Pretty awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Kent. Thank you, Kent's AI art. Appreciate you taking time out of your day and then spent sending us some AI art for all of us, all of us to enjoy, all of us to enjoy. Now, speaking of all of us to enjoy, I'm going to have the first pull toot. Oh, I can't press it with my nose. Of the uh, apple pie crumble, Lucius. Apple pie crumble. Okay. I'm just going to sit with this for like a second. I'll promise I'll be back in 30 seconds to, uh, to discuss this. I'm going to mute my microphone. If you're going to request AI art demand... <laughs> Very, very apple pie. Very, very, very apple pie. I would say, oh, no green minikin. Okay, next week. Next week, Rip. Next week. I promise. We'll do the barrage minikin tasting. Damn it. Ah, well, you know, I can't get, can't win them all. There's bound to be some dango clacks. It's a little bit throaty. It's just a little bit throaty, you know? It's just a hair. It's just a hair throaty. I have this knocked down to two holes. Maybe I should open this pit up. We'll go full three holes on the ocula. It's just a little bit throaty, but not in a negative way. It's kind of in a positive way. I like liquids to be a little bit throaty. It's just beer burps. I want e-liquids to be a little bit throaty, so I know I'm inhaling something more than just air, but it's not too throaty. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a balancing act. It's a balancing act. Where's my damn hell ass door wobbly? It's a balancing act. This apple pie to the bone, apple pie to the core. It tastes more like, yeah, apple pie crumble. <coughs> Maybe I'm allergic to vaping. Apple pie crumble. It's very apple pie crumble. There's no crust going on here. It's that apple pie filling that you know you love you know you love the apple pie filling the like the little spices and the things and the the apple pie filling and then a crumbly topping on top like a crumbly cakey topping on top that's not a crust it's kind of like apple pie filling with like a if you imagine like a hostess coffee cake or like a drake's coffee cake and you just crumbled that up all over the top of it, that's this flavor. It's very fall. It's a very, you know, Halloween, apple pies, cold weather, October, three and a half hours ago. We're not running long. We're not. It's only been three and a half hours. All right. We, we can do this. Very, very sweet, crispy apple pie with that crumbly top. There's no crust. It's a purely crumbly top. Man, luscious. Fuck, they're so good. It's 
It's so, luscious. This is a good liquid. This is just straight up good. There's no way around it. I, every luscious liquid I've had so far has been a banger. This apple pie is that filling. What I'm saying, Seamus, is that they've named this the most accurate e-liquid name in the history of e-liquid names, apple pie crumble. It's apple. Yours is very cinnamon style forward. I don't get much cinnamon cinnamon forward. I get cinnamon aftered, aftered, but I don't get cinnamon forward. I get apple pie filling with with cinnamon like cinnamon and nutmeg in it. Apple pie filling. Holy cow! Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yes. Luscious apple pie crumble. That's a winner. I mean, that's a that's a winner. I'm going to keep vaping this now. I'm going to have to set up a new setup for next week's random liquid tasting because I'm just going to keep vaping this. That's freaking delicious. It's freaking delicious. Uh, luscious. 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 Um, all right. There's one last super chat. We can wrap this up. One last super chat. James says uh, Rebel 2.0. To come out with a dual battery squonk sounds like heaven. This Rebel 2.0, this 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 recoil V2 that's going to come out is not a thing yet. It's it's right now. It's literally just an idea in my head that has gone nowhere. But I have an idea for like a recoil prime. We're going to call it uh, the recoil AF, and I think it's sick. Oh, I think it's sick. I do. I do have a setup for next week, Steve. Thank you for have for looking out. Good looking out, Steve. Good looking out. All right. Hey, you guys. I love you. Appreciate you. Let's uh, let's take a quick look. Maybe I am a little bit over nicked. I think I am a little bit over nicked. That was a lot of nicotine. But uh, I'm gonna get out of here. Let me take a quick look. Quick look. Just a hell of a mess to clean up. And you can't even see. Like from on video, I guess it's messy starting here. But really, it's messy starting here, <laughs> here, all over the sides. Lots to clean up. Hey, I'm going to say goodbye, you guys. Peace out. Big love. Be excellent to each other. Be excellent to yourselves. Always defend vaping every chance that you can get. Always, always defend vaping every chance you can get. Uh, I, I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate you guys being down for the cause, for supporting everything that I do over here. It's, uh, you know, it's really rewarding. It's a really rewarding thing when people tell you that they quit smoking because of a recommendation that you made. And it could just be dumb, some dumb pod that I did a review for that stopped someone from smoking cigarettes. And my God, my God, that's all I, I, I ever, ever need. That and to have fun, you know? I want to have fun, and that's why vaping rules, because it's fun, too. So, okay, I love you guys. Peace out. Be excellent to each other. I'll see you next week. we got a full-on action-packed week next week, so I'm going to leave you with the the, the soothing sounds of uh, Omboy O.C. The soothing sounds of Omboy O.C. singing us off into the evening. He believes he can fly. I believe in you guys. Peace out. Big love. I'll say it all again. Okay, bye. I believe I could fly. I believe I could touch the sky. Any time of year. Dun, 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 dun. I believe I can fly.